<laughs> hard right. <laughs> hard right. <laughs> gotcha. All right. They're going to put me on a podcast. They're going to make a big star out of me. Uh-huh. We'll make a show about a man that's sad and lonely. And all I got to do is talk naturally. <laughs> well, I bet you I'm going to be a big star. I'll tell a story that you can never tell. The show is gonna make me a big star Cause I can play the part so well We'll make the show and that's sad and lonely And begging down upon his bended knee Well, the story won't need much rehearsing And all I gotta do is talk naturally I'm going to say, that could be your best one. But the whole time I'm trying to think, I, I know they're going to put me in the movies. I'm trying to think, what's that, what's, who sang it? It was originally a country song. Yeah. And then that. Ringo sang it on Help. But wasn't it in a movie? Wasn't it? Help. It was in the movie it's in, Help. It's in the movie. No, I, I thought it was in another movie. It was in some other movie. Like in the 60s. Yeah. No, no, no. I thought like 70s or something. Like, I don't it know. probably was. I don't know. They're going to put me in the Maybe it's a TV show. I don't know. Okay. Hey, good song. I like yeah. I almost didn't have one for you, Jack. I was really brainstorming all day. Charlie. I would I would have left. He was yeah, texting I, me. I right texted him. You got any ideas? Because I, I had nothing. You know? I, 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 was, I was going to. Why don't you text me? I would have given you an idea. I actually wanted to I do. Uh, fuck off. I came really close to doing uh, Dire Straits uh, Walk of Life, but it's oh. just a little bit mm. too too complex for the ukulele. And too too close to home for Jack. <laughs> he's got his crackpot sports uh you know image going on in the background there tonight well that's petco part behind me so well no but you've got your crackpot yeah that, that's sports. true like, i got I the mean, crackpot sports yeah but like it's, a little it's, tv thing like if like in yeah, the olden days it'd be like oh, i'm crackpot sports you um, know and it would I, have like well, I, I, it's funny when i i did a one for crackpot uh um crazy hang tv and i don't know on logan's run and i started out saying I'm cra- hey, welcome to crazy. Uh, welcome to Crackpot Jack. And I'm like going. I go. Well, I'm not gonna go back and re-record it. Screw it. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but I. That's. I'm old, I guess, and just forget things. And now you know. So to do Logan's Run re- remake, you know, Jenny Agutter, no Jenny Agutter. Well, you couldn't have her. <laughs> Because well, they're all over thirty, that's why you know you couldn't have any of the original. Oh right, yeah. Well, one of them could play uh, the old man, maybe, I and mean, just make it an old woman this time. Peter Ustinov's part, you could have. Oh uh, sure, she, she could. I mean, she could play that part. It doesn't have to be a man. It could be Judy Dench. Great, great. Well, yeah. I, 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 I would probably go with Jenny. I didn't think about that. That you could put her in there as the old, an old woman. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be a man, Matt. Does that? It's what? Just, I'm it, the one that's don't, like throwing don't, don't, don't be don't be so sexist. Jeez. Um so <laughs> speaking of Judy Dench, did Nick, did you hear the Star Wars news that they were they were one of the plot threads for Rise of Skywalker was that we were going to meet like the original designer or creator for the Millennium Falcon. And it was going to be played by Judy Dench. A damn so, Judy Dench. Why? Yeah. I don't know, and it seems kind of like that. Just this seems like a side story. That like, right? Why? It seems like, like a side story. Like <clears throat> why? Like, like, and she's on Canto Bite. Yeah, <laughs> Canto Bite my ass. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that makes no. <laughs> I mean, how how old would that person have to be? Because I mean, the not to get too right. into Star I mean, Wars, I mean, but I mean, the, that the, design is so old. I know the freighter like predates like like the yeah. Republic, like like the uh, the end of the Republic and what we see in the prequels, like the freighter is supposed to be designed before that. Right. So I don't know. That was kind she's of, a... po- she's popular. I mean, she's, I mean, people like her. No, I mean, it's nothing against the actor. I mean, it's just, it makes no sense plot wise. Like, Oh, mm-hmm. like here's the person who designed the Falcon. Like, of course it only took, that, and that it only took what? four minutes for like, it's getting Star Wars talk. So that apparently, bad. well, I, we were looking for a guffin. <laughs> or is it a Mick guffin? I always get that 
Is it McGuffin or is it Guffin? The McGuffin. Or is it? Is it now, McGuffin? Now, you got, now you got me. You think it's a McGuffin? McGuffin. McGuffin. Yeah. It's like a, it's McDonald's. Name's, McDonald's one of the copies. McGuffin. Yeah. It's a McGuffin. Like, like a crime dog. My oh. name's McGuffin. If you try to find me in a movie, I disappear on you. The, the drug dog? That's what I'm You thinking. can't hold me in a trench down. coat. Yeah. Well, I think that's what we're all looking for when we look for <laughs> MacGuffins. We need a trench coat. Jack's looks like, can we get back to sports? Well, we no, I, 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 was reading, but I was reading the chat. You know. Oh, is there chat he, going on here? Ethan seems to be all for it. Oh, <laughs> it's true. It was a bad movie. Uh, Speaking of like, did you, either one of you guys watch Frank of Ireland? Like I asked you to. Yeah, I knew I that know. you asked me to watch something, and I just have not had time. Hey, but can I say that I did watch something that Jack recommended to me like like two months ago? So there's hope. There's hope yet, Nick. <laughs> two months ago. Yeah, you you really wanted me to to stop watching my Big Bang Theory rewatch, and you wanted me to watch the Detour. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I forgot all about that. I, well, I finally got around to it. I was like fresh out of like TV shows and sitcoms. Oh, that's and, right. I'm not finished my, with season four yet. My uh, my my wife and I we were sitting down to watch <laughs> something, and I said, "All right, I'm going to give two shows a try." I was like, well, "We'll just see how they are." And it was either going to be Broad Broad City, uh, which I've heard is really good, and I w- I've always wanted to check that out. I don't. I don't think that's. I think that I think that's politically correct. Broad, no, it's what it's called, Broad City. I don't like it. So, and Broad then there's uh, the detour. And so I, I was like, okay, I'm going to just try the detour. I will say this. Did, did I only, detour? I've only did been, I've only, on path? I've only been through the first episode, the pilot. Hmm. But for a pilot, oh my gosh. Like, it's funny. Like, it 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 hooks you pretty quick. Like, most pilots, I, I you go in kind of thinking. Especially like, comedies. Especially comedies. Most, most I mean, it had both my wife and I laughing out loud multiple times at multiple things. So uh, I kept, kept my attention. I, I wanted to watch the second episode, but I was like, well, my wife's going to bed. Sometimes, you know, you find that, that show that you watch together and you're right. just kind of like, you know, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put that on pause. So yeah, I, so I'd I, like I, to I, return I, to that. But. I'm glad you watched it because it also reminded me I haven't finished season four yet. Oh, well, I forgot. I, was, I forgot I was, or did I, I, you know, I don't remember. Okay, so in the chat we have we have some some big things happening. A Ethan says he can't recommend Broad City enough. I I will oh, definitely okay. Definitely. Ethan recommends it that highly. I won't watch it. But then <laughs> Sherry Sherry with the big news, she watched Godfather one and two. I know that was a big. Oh, I forgot she never watched it. Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. You also, you also skipped over what she said before that. Oh, nobody cares about your show. Nick. <laughs> It's Frank good, of Ireland. Is it a comedy? Yes, it's a comedy. It's six episodes uh, on Amazon. Yeah. Oh, is this and, the BBC thing where there's only six episodes and that's yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's the Gleason brothers. So, oh, okay. Oh, Jackie you know, Gleason? No. Uh, who did he play in the new Star Wars trilogy? Hux. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, it's, you know, redheaded, redheaded mm-hmm. Irish people. Uh, but oh, that's me, why you think it's funny. If, if I'm gonna compare it to anything, it's kind of like Dumb and Dumber, and that you have two completely self-centered idiots, you know, on Again. this show. Yeah, and it's uh, like this show. Yeah, like this show. Yeah. Uh, but I, I liked it because uh, it's uh, there's some there's some things you know that we don't get as Americans is, is funny, but there's some times where I was in tears laughing. It was it was pretty pretty some good stuff. You know, uh, like. So not General Hux Gleason, but uh, the other one. He's like the main character. Uh, is <laughs> he? He wants everything to be about himself. And the other one writes a song for this play, and it's called Twelve Angry Women," based off of Twelve Angry Men. You know? Oh yeah. But he he he's like, I want to write the music. I want to write the music. You know? And so he goes, and when he comes back, you know, he, he submits all these songs for the play. And they they don't realize until like the night of that these songs have been written about a few good men, not twelve angry. Men. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so it's like all these things that you have to kind of pick up on that you know because like this one, the juror number six comes out in like a navy uniform, you know, and you're like, and she's singing about uh, uh, Corporal Santiago, and you're like, what the hell is going on? And, you know, and, and I thought it was pretty good, but uh, Why just, give, you just, just give it a him? shot, yeah. You know, <laughs> you need me on that wall. You want me on that wall, right? And that's kind of like uh, he's not wrong. 
because there's a part where the director of it's like getting, he goes, "All right, when you come in, in the, you, you're going to come in on that part when you're singing about uh, uh, we follow orders or people die." And he's like, "And I just realized that's what we're good." Like, you know, it's like that's that's not even the funniest bits, but it's just things that I remember off the top. All right, I will definitely try and watch it. It's just I've been watching the Padres lose and all that fun stuff. So that's a, what do you expect? Don't, don't what do you expect? When, you, that, when you pay all that money for your all star guy, it's like now he's got no no motivation to. Uh, to play hard. So she's like, yeah, I got my money. I'm good. Nah, I think they're hurt. <laughs> he's, 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 it's, I don't want to talk about it. You clearly okay. do. You brought it yeah. up. You have it's, it. In it's, your it's why we can't have nice things. I mean, you're wearing, you're wearing two Padre things. You mm-hmm. have the stadium in the background and a baseball. So clearly you want to. Talk yeah, about I know. It. It's, it's kind of the, the hat, the shirt, the background, no, no, the logo, no. the, like even your little avatar that you named yourself, we can't hit tonight. Yeah, I mean it's on your mind a little bit. Maybe that I'm I'm done. A little bit. Um, it was always on my mind. Oh wait, did Sherry like? Uh, uh, that's what I'm curious about as well. Because uh, Randy asked her in the chat. Well, for everyone clear, out there, she let's, finally let's, watched Godfather Part One and Part Two. Let's now be it's care- up for Jack. Let's, let's, let's be careful. Watching Lord of the Rings. Let's. Be, I never said I'd do that. Let's be careful here. If she says she didn't like it, uh, Matt said she's going to block her out of the chat. That, that, that's fair. All right, go ahead. No, 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 no. That's no, what Matt said. I did not say that. Right, Sherry, go ahead, Sherry. Like did, did you like it? it? Did you not like it? Just silence. Uh, uh, she oh, says, sorry, we're all no, reading. She's, <laughs> oh, there we go. She says, uh, the first one made me feel like I missed something because of the way it started. Oh, yeah, sure, because it kind of starts with the the whole, like, oh, you came to make me a deal. Oh, right, right. right. So oh, awesome. well, I watched them as well. Or you want to make me... Yeah. But the but first, it, you know, the but first... It has, it has some significance later on. Yeah. But, you know, the first scene shot for the movie was actually the restaurant scene, uh, the, the gun. Oh, or Michael. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, because uh, I remember... Uh, some behind the scenes or all those AI, a, AFI things, you know, talking about that, how uh, Al Pacino still did not quite have a character in his head yet, like of what he should be. So a lot of those facial expressions or those like uh, awkwardness is him trying to figure out what is this character doing? <laughs> like, you know, and so like, but it, it actually looks like he's conflicted, but he is conflicted, but not about the scene. <laughs> that is, so, oh. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, it's true. Jack's having a private private conversation with our chatters here. Actually, it could have been two of them. I don't know. That's good. You, <laughs> you, de- you decide who I was flipping off. Okay. She, uh, uh, she did write, it's not as good as Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. Not as yeah. not as thorough. So, yeah. um, well, there probably wasn't enough CGI to, um, back make, then, the, yeah. to make people happy nowadays. You know, because yeah. you got to have phony CGI for a lot of people to make a movie interesting. No, I, I mean, they look at the source material. I mean, you have, you know, J.R.R. Tolkien. It's it's the reason why we have George R.R. R. Martin. It's like ah. they have to put the R.R. Oh. In so if I if I could ch- change my mind to R.R., I'd be more talented. Jack R.R.? Yeah, R.R. <laughs> Jack Walt Walt? <laughs> Walt? I don't know. I don't know where Walt. I'm going with any of this. Walt I'm, Walt? I, uh, you know, I just noticed... We're missing a podcaster tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe he got we his, should. He got his second should. shot. Uh, uh, he, he, he's taking it like the old Chris that we all know, like a man <laughs> laying down <laughs> on a couch, sleeping. There's not enough gummies to make him feel better. I don't. I don't want to pick on him because I get my second shot on Saturday, and the first one, I I was like exhausted. I don't. It really oh, knocked me out. So I can't wait for the second one. And and I I don't want to poo poo anyone because you know I got Johnson and Johnson so I feel like I got the limited edition virus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> you're, you're gonna be you're gonna be getting another shot here soon anyway because of Johnson and Johnson. They're they're like, they're like, can you believe we were pu- we're pumping water into people and they thought they were cured? Yeah, or immune. well, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if like you hear that like you know 40 50 years from now people are like oh yeah it was like 90 you know 9.9999% water just like oh, yeah we were just bullshitting we had to get it done by april yeah had a little bit of heroin in there just to make <laughs> think. they were like ooh i feel funny <laughs> well it sounds like randy's getting his second dose tomorrow so a lot of people uh-huh. getting their second doses right what what, what kind are you taking randy uh, um 
And then Amy in the chat also says, my husband also got his second today. And his he second says, S. Oh. So um, his, his eyeballs, eyeballs hurt. hurt. Okay, what? that's unusual. His so, eyeballs hurt. What did they did they give him the shot in the eye? The stigmatism. It's like air. Oh, I'm sorry. I messed your I messed your arm there. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> so you're going up there with people like a hundred because the lady that gave me the shot, she was she was up there in age. She's like, oh, she was shaking it around. Because I, I I I put a target on there to make it easier for her. Right there, right there, right. There, no, right. No, right there, right there, right there. Nope, nope. Ah, there you go. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Um, yes, and Sherry's also mentioning that uh, they're saying you're going to need a third booster shot for the so, Pfizer. Yes, I'd, no. I'd, uh, well, I thought um, for I, I, my thought was like, oh, great, we can't get some people get the first two, you, so how they can get the third one? This strap is never going away. <laughs> Luckily, I look good in a mask, so I'm not I'm not too upset. Yeah, I'm curious about like because um, it's like forty percent of the armed services is refusing to take the shot and. I have one friend who has a 20 year old in the Navy and they're honorably discharging him from the Navy because he refused to take the shot. Hmm. And so I wonder like, Oh my God, are they going to do that to 40% of the army? Well, they, were listening, they were listening to Ted Nugent until he got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got cat scratch fever. I, you know, I almost mentioned that you could have opened with that song. Um, but, uh, I don't, don't didn't know. think about it. Yeah, that's a riff song too. Yeah. John, the UPS guy, said he got the second Pfizer shot ten days ago. Nobody cares, John. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, and and Amy is going to be wearing a Star Wars shirt uh, because she gets her second shot on May the fourth. So might as well. So just let's, let's, hope, let's it's not, hope. So it's not a bad batch. No, I was gonna say like <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. That's even a better. Oh, I just got it. May the fourth be with you. I got it. okay. Uh, there you go. Are you I, 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 I love are Twitter you... on May fourth. I must say. Are you are you fucking kidding? I took me like all the numbers add up to one hundred eight. But May that, 4th. I, that I get. But May I don't remember that until tw- till that actual day. There, but May the fourth be with you. Right. <laughs> that's what's funny because like that was never. <laughs> to me a holiday ever until like the last what six seven years yeah. or something like that so social media what was may may 22nd or third you know was always those are always the the, the uh sorry the 21st whatever it is like those were always the the star wars days because those were when the movies were released were in the late yeah. may and all of a sudden may 4th has now become a, a i see one. matt tree's got his second one a few hours ago and he's here um what's that say for chris i i don't know I mean, you know, it, it it definitely hit him harder, even with the first shot. So, I mean, you know, that, um, those Providence guys just aren't built, you know, the way a lot of us, the rest of us are. You know. Not saying we're soft, but we're soft. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> yes, <Yeah, it's> true. <laughs> Won't hit the well, target. Uh, you know, uh, each week I, I kind of make like Stay little, on target. Little, uh, it's too close. Stay on target. Show. And um, <coughs> this week was, I was kind of sitting around like, trying to make up some some fun um like little little things for the show so i'll just share a few here with you um so this was one that uh looks like sesame street uh or ebay google or ebay. ebay oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. ebay yeah but it does kind of remind you of, of, of google yeah yeah so here i'll have it a oh, let's see i'm just going to test these on everybody here that's 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 looking um this one I, I felt kind of had some California vibes, even though it's got it flamingos does. in it. it does. Um, yeah, flamingos are more Miami, aren't they? Yeah, but I mean, like if we just look at that, the top part. That's like the know? opening. Well, no, the, the top. That's not California at the top. Boom. Boom. Yeah, you know, were those cherry blossoms? Are those cherry blossoms? I guess so. I guess like those cherry blossoms. Nah, I don't remember seeing cherry blossoms in Cal- I could be wrong. Palm trees, well, the ocean. I, and what's that other flower to the left? What's that? I can't. I believe. I don't know. I. You know, I grab this stuff for for free off of the app. So some of these things is just like p- things that you you're free to use. It's it's just okay. uh, stuff. That, yeah, I don't. So. When you when I think California, I don't think I could be wrong. You know, California this, is a big state. There's places up north people care about. This is this is for Jack here, um, team. And there's people playing hockey, and then like kind of this, you know, like plus like Red Cross. Oh yeah, I, I like that. I get that. That's so, nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I like it. It's nice. I, I, I like how Nick's like, mm, I'm going to reserve judgment. <laughs> Why did you decide on the girl behind you? Uh, I don't know. I just, uh, I just find look, these I, random That one I and, like. 
Yeah, you like that the one's, volcano. That one's hot. I like it. Mm-hmm. All right, so yeah. I'm sh- I'm sharing a, an image of some liquid magma. Some magma. Lava. Magma. Well, they, they would know if they joined us. Uh, Matt Triest uh, mentions in the chat that Chris isn't recovering from 420. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. And then I have, uh, let's see, I had the magma one. Oh, and then I was working on this one, which uh, still kind of cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to do with this one. It's just. Is he, is he wearing jeans? A jean jacket. <laughs> it's true. He is. Yeah. So he, and he looks like a, and he looks like a snowball. So I, I get what you're going there. I'm uh, for everybody that's listening. I'm sharing a picture of a dog, a little cute dog, and it says uh, "R.I.P. Stinky." <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of a name that was just so awful. And by the way, it's not a Star Wars reference at all. You would have uh, got a bunch right. of people putting uh, hearts at, on your on the post. That's true. They would have liked it. Just and, and, the care, and the care ones. No, oh, the care. Or the, or the sad emoji. It's so always yeah. freak out. It's always you know, some of those things you go, oh, my God, no. And you, I always make sure I don't put the laughing one on there because I, I can see me doing that on accident. Oh, sure. And I, I don't want to be that guy that does that. Um, yeah, still nope. no thumbs down. I always want the thumbs down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> see, they're angry. Or everything else is like no, I want a thumbs down. Oh. I did I, have, uh, I did have some, some. Okay, go ahead. Oh no, I also shared this on Instagram. What's in too, your so backpack? I yeah, I didn't understand I, that one. I just was trying to make up like pumpkin. Is that cheesecake? Yeah, it's some cheesecake. Because <laughs> I, like, I don't like cheesecake. So because when I, when I think of what's in your backpack, it was uh, from the movie Up in the Air with uh, George Clooney. Mm. He uh, he did uh, motivational speaking for part time. And that was his whole spiel was what's in your backpack is like what people, what things in your life weigh you down. Oh, <laughs> and his sister hmm. was like, what kind of fucking motivational speaker stuff about that shit? You know, <laughs> Cause it was all about, you know, cutting things out of your life. You know, I, well, was, I would cut cheesecake out. Cheesecake out. What's the finger? Is it sign language, right? I don't know. I just found uh, an image of that and thought, why not? Oh, um, you see what Randy put in the chat? I'm Way seeing go. that now. Way Randy, to go, Matt. Randy's childhood dog was named Stinky. Yeah, he was uh, thinking about you, Randy. I, Way to go, Matt. I'm really sorry about that. The flashbacks um, here. Emotional distress. Um, I'll put this up here for you. <laughs> uh, well, I hope it didn't look like that dog. So... Um, it was that dog. <laughs> Apparently, I've cut a little, little too close. Yeah, he Ryan. had a jean jacket and everything. I know, right? It was Just all walked there. around. He was favoring blue jeans. Well, you know, Randy he, he goes around, comes around. It was he marks and he don't. Randy's been making fun of me about sheep for too long. <laughs> you fucker! Man, you don't. I was, I was wondering if you were in Iowa last week. <laughs> me? They, they had the annual sheep crossing. In no. Iowa, I was going to no. send it. I was going to send it to you, and I said, "I don't feel like listening to him cry." <laughs> I just saw it on the news. It was like the annual sheep crossing. That dog don't hunt. That's what he was. I guess. Oh, uh, okay. That dog don't hunt. Um. Well, <laughs> on that note, I did. Want, I did want to point out and say, uh, on a sad note, uh, my brother in law's mom passed away. I'm, I'm going to remove this R.I.P. Stinky. Yeah. I just yeah, feel I, like... That, that, that's pretty cruel there, Matt. But anyway, she was a die. She was a huge Padre fan. Huge Padre fan. And I said, it was a, I asked my sister, is it wrong that I asked this? I go, did she get to see that? Because she was in the hospital. Did she get to see the no-hitter? And no, she didn't. I was like, oh, God, that is just wrong. It is, I, felt, I felt so bad for her just because she was that kind of Padre fan that just you know, no matter what, she supported her Padres, supported her Padres, supported her Padres. And she didn't get to see it. Anyway, I just... But don't you think, Kathy. though, maybe on the other side, she did? Well, she... Yeah, well, she wasn't on the other side yet. She was just, like... She was in the hospital. Oh, before. she was in the hospital. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I said, did she get to see the no-hitter? And, and they said... Mm-hmm. She, my sister said, no. I go, that's just sad. She was a really nice lady. 
Oh, Randy's telling the full truth. He did not have a dog named Stinky. Okay, well. Oh, come on, Randy. I'm not surprised. I, like, I liked it better when you had. Because Randy just had a Randy just had a birthday. He just wanted the sympathy points. That's all. <laughs> did everyone wish Randy a happy birthday a few days ago? I'm not going to tell. Uh, him, no, I, no. I mean he's clearly a liar and not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we know Chris didn't wish him a birthday. Uh, well, Chris, that's what he said. If Chris was here, he would have said. Fuck you, Randy, and your stinky ass dog. <laughs> His words, not mine, Randy. Yeah. yeah, that was that was that sounded like Chris. Good shit. And then he would have stopped and would have hit mute on his microphone and then, and then looked down the internet yeah. <laughs> for, like, for like ten minutes. And then Actually, and then he would have chimed in while we were still talking, but still on mute. It would be yeah. awesome if Chris was so here the talking. whole time and I could just add him right now. <laughs> Fine with me. I don't care. Uh, but um, it, happens, it happens. It happens. Well, um, other other shows though. Well, you but, saw that they're uh, uh, oh Ted Lasso two, two is they're already uh, they're filming it. They're it's ready to come out here soon, isn't it? Yeah, they started filming. I think back in January. Yeah, season two. Because I'm trying to get Chris to watch it. I know it's really <laughs> it's so, so lame of him. Yeah, to be the, like the last person. You yeah, know? it's like. Well, I also just speaking of show news, like. Uh, they announced that Frank the Irish guy. They announced that Cobra Kai season four will be out at the end of this year. Oh, really? And well, I, think, season- I think they, I think they filmed it already. I think they were filming it. Yeah. <laughs> and I and I I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Season three not as strong, but no. it's but it sets up some things maybe that will be resolved in season four, perhaps. Yeah, I think so. But well, I mean, uh, they said there's only going to be five. Five seasons or six. Seasons, oh, I is Daniel is, is Daniel going to hang out with another ex girlfriend? Uh, Wife's okay with it. Uh, Just ask. Hey, we've all been there. I mean, uh, he went all the way to Japan to see one. Yeah, I, so. I I agree. I, I thought this was the weakest of the three seasons, and then it didn't really progress the story that much. It's just kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I still, I mean, it's 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 fine. So we agree. The final fight scene, though, I think, if you haven't seen Cobra Kai, uh, season two final fight season was awesome. Yeah, but the, uh, is the final fight is that because they said whoever loses? You take a picture. Of <laughs> Just making things interesting. Uh, okay, sure. Okay, Jack, go ahead. I well now I've got off, I'm off track now. The I'm final gonna, the the fight that we, it, it, the, to find out who has to leave or not will be between uh, Sam and the other girl. Next drum blank on her name because Matt screwed me up. Stinky, Stinky. I think it was her name. <laughs> Her real name's uh, Tori. Or, no, that's Tori. Right. Tori. Tor- yeah. Tori. Yes. Good yeah. job. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I... Forever in blue jeans. Fuck you. You know, there's a, there's a new Downton Abbey movie coming out at the end of the year, and I keep telling my wife, I said we should go in character to the theater, and she says no. Are you gonna be a butler? No, I don't think you're really cool. I think you're just a footman. I, I don't think I could reach footman. I'd be like the <laughs> I'd be like the guy cutting flowers. Not, nothing wrong with the guy, you know, but that I think that would be my I don't think I do footman because I'm not putting I'm not dressing guys. Mm. I, I'm not, I'm not, is it foot, no butler dresses the guys, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, I'd be like, put your own shirt on. Butler gets paid though, man. He does, but I I don't like being bossed around all day long. Nobody does. No. Yeah, you know, it's weird. Like that show ended what five years ago, and mm, uh, maybe longer. I think it's pretty sure it's 2016 when the show ended. Maybe and then, five and a half years ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I still haven't finished it. I don't. Really? Yeah. I got because I, I was watching it. It was right when I was pretty sure it was right when I was moving out to California. And that's why I stopped and didn't have cable. I was like, I'll get around to watching it. And never got around to watching it. Yeah. My, but Cindy says, no, I don't want to dress in character. I go, why not? Who cares what people, especially if we're still wearing masks? Who cares? But she doesn't want it. Because it's not, it's not like me to want to do something like that. But I thought it'd be funny. But she didn't want to do it. She said, nope, 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 nope. Would you, okay, if you could go, as two characters from Lost with your wife, who who would you go go as? Well, I'd, I'd probably have to go as Sawyer, Skeletor. Well, you'd go as Sawyer, but what about Cindy? I don't think she. Well, she wouldn't do it. So, <laughs> what am I going to do? Uh, you know, uh, I, Ra- I, I, Randy. I, I, Ra- Randy, I just have to to say, <laughs> Randy, in the chant. Uh, you're wrong. 
Stinky lived right around the corner in the back <laughs> of that store. Uh, just to clarify, I'd so. probably ha- I'd probably say tell her to go as Libby, and she could have like a blanket. Oh, carrying a blanket with two covered, blood, covered with, in blood with blood stains. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I could go as Michael with the gun. Uh huh. I like it. What do you think? I was thinking Rosen Bernard. It's my son. You know? No, I don't want to go as Rosen Bernard because Bernard, get, but, but but you, Bernard's just there. But you could get you could right? get Dharma jumpsuits and go as Rosen Bernard. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah the, Bernard just gets bossed around and stuff like that. So I'd be. Yeah. I, I don't want to be carrying rocks and writing SOS the whole time. It just. I don't know. It's just too I, much I know, work. but Rose has all the good lines. It's, true. It, it's, I don't want to be on an ego thing, but it's just like, eh. don't you think? Don't you think Bernard needed Rose though? I think they needed each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, but I, Rose was a stronger character. Oh, absolutely. She sh- actually should have been more in, involved in the show. To be honest with you, she yeah she could have actually taken. So you know the the part that they had in mind for Mister <laughs> Echo. They could have actually switched over to her if they really wanted it. To, you know, that's good. Yeah, because she, she always had the religious, mm-hmm. you know, and kind of my- mystical aspect behind her character anyway. Right, as far as being healed. So I agree. Like Plus in the first, in the first couple of seasons, yeah, in the first couple of seasons, she's kind of like a another voice of reason for Jack. You know, because he yeah. goes right. to her for advice, and then oh. when Bernard shows back up, they kind of almost shove him to the side a lot of the times. Yeah, they, they kind of. I don't know. If she. I don't know if the actress didn't want more of a role in it, but I. I can't imagine why not. I know she didn't watch the show. Oh, really? That's what I heard. She didn't watch huh. the show. Well, maybe maybe it was a, a thing of like, oh, we can't get more out of her, so we're just gonna. I think I'd be the same way if I was an actor. It'd be hard for me to watch things I was in because I was mm. so critical of everything I do. You should mm-hmm. be that I would pretty bad. I would see it and be like, oh, oh for sure, yeah, on. yeah. I mean, I would be like, it's not me; it's the director and the writing. <laughs> sure. What's okay. what's what's the girl from uh, Grey's Anatomy? Um, oh, K- Catherine that, Heigl. She, you know, it's when I used to think. I go when I first heard, that, I go, God, what a because mm-hmm. she, she said, yeah. I don't want the Emmy, the writing. I go, that's just. But then uh, when I started watching, my wife would watch. I go, you know, she mm-hmm. was right. The show, the writing is terrible. <laughs> Right. Is, it, is, it, is it Catherine Heigl said that? Catherine Heigl. It was okay, Catherine yeah, Heigl, yeah. yes. And, she, you know, she got a bad rap for it because, you know, you're not supposed to. Mm-hmm. But the writing is bad on that show. I mean, people love it. Don't get me wrong. I know Ethan, if he's still here, he likes uh, Grey's Anatomy. He wow. likes but um, Ooh, I like John's idea about Jack as Char- Charles Widmore. I could be Charles Widmore. I could, I could be a, I could be a and Randy suggests uh, Paulo and Nikki as, as you and... Cindy. Well, we'd have to go with sandal over. Razzle dazzle. Right. Razzle dazzle. Uh, razzle dazzle. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I would, de- I would definitely go as Charlie. So I think, yeah. Charlie, I'd, to, I think I'd go as Carl those... Weathers. <laughs> as long as you don't use face paint. No, you can't now. use face paint. No. Yeah, Carl um, Weathers. You know, Carl Weathers was in that episode with Nikki and Paolo. I, oh. He oh, was, shit. yeah. I'm ready to lose my... I'll what? be right back. You lose your mind? What? Where's, it, where's he going? He just cut and he just cut and run. Cut and run. Oh, good. Down with the show. Pick up a little bit. Yeah, uh, now we're gonna. That, that is a great question, though. Who would who would I would go with? That's uh, that would be a good versus just for for fun. If you had to go to a hall, if you had to go to a party, dressed as a lost character, who would you go as? I mean, what could I pull off? I mean, I couldn't pull off Sawyer. I'm just kidding on that one. I couldn't pull off Jack, even though I'm Jack. Hmm. I'm not big enough. Well, that's what I mean. Like it's because so, I mean your your options are fairly. Li- I mean, they're not limited, but not yours. I mean, anyone's are pretty limited because like if you don't if you don't if you can't pull off that body type of the person, I could probably then, be Charlie, but I don't want to be on heroin. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, because I mean, I just wear my jumpsuit, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. Good. yeah, you you have the jumpsuit already. Even know. though, even though it's got someone's signature on it now, it's like <laughs> ruin, ruin, the, ruin the authenticity. Uh, maybe I can go as what, what was his, what was uh, Nathan Fillion's character in uh, in that? He Nathan was, Fillion. You remember he? Oh, played, right, right. Okay, yeah. He was I, her boyfriend, wasn't he? In an husband. Oh, the husband. That's right. Yeah. I forgot he was in it. Yeah. 
It's been Taco, so long. It's, it's Taco Tuesday. Taco That's right. Night. It's been so long because I've all I watch I've watched seasons one through three so many times, but I want to say I've watched season four maybe twice, and in season five and six only one time, just as they originally aired. Season five is excellent. Yeah. Hey, look are, who's back! Are, are you eating something? Is it, was that, was your blood sugar dropping? Is that what it was? And you had to run. What do you got? You got candy? Cereal? He's muted. I know he's not muted now. Chips? Got chips? What? What kind of chips are those? Yeah. Oh, I guess I'm not muted. How they look like they, they look like body parts. What? Yeah. Look like skin. No, they're, they're chips. It's true. Yeah. Did it look like skin to you too? They did look at first. It now, did. now, you, get, you now guys are sick. Chips, yeah. You guys are sick. Man. It's like, oh my god! It reminds me of that movie Alive. <laughs> Instead of pork rinds, we're gonna have to start eating people. People. <laughs> people. <laughs> Soy like green is people. <laughs> I have been enjoying this um, kind of cocktail liqueur called Bramble Mule. I wondered what it was. I saw that it was just solid red. I was like, what, what's this it's, solid red? It's beer? raspberry, yeah. ginger, hibiscus, and uh, the, the alcohol is Why does it have a, uh, it have a dent? Vodka. Who'd you get what? mad at? Why does it have oh, a dent? Um, it's so, something I always do to cans is I always put a little thumb dent in it, and that way I always know that it's my can. Are you, serious? Are you yeah. serious with that? I'm, I'm serious, Clark. Did, did, you, did you not st- – I mean, I'm the only one I know who does that. No, like I'm – are you are you fucking with me? No, I, I've done that since I was twelve years old. You know, see, I grew up when cans were tin. And I, you I, I I put this little dent and it's, really? a, so thumb, just, and it's a thumb dent, thumb dent so that yeah. I know. All right, I, I, I'll be, I I got to be honest here. I've never heard of that, and both you fuckers do that. I do, life, yeah. life fucking hack right here. I, the reason why, I, yeah, and once you start doing it, you'll do it. You'll it's, never it's, stop it. It's compulsively. It's, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying uh, to do it yeah. on this bottle right now. I, I can't do I've done that since I was 12 years old, but the reason why I did it was for completely opposite reasons of Matt is because when I would drink beer as a small child, <laughs> you, know, you had to do it at, at nighttime when no one could see you. And that's where I, if I put the dent in front of the hole, that's where I knew where the hole was so I could drink it. I could find it. That's why I did it. Wow. Wow. Um, Amy said yours? she was once on a plane with someone huh? reading alive. Poor choice. It's true. It's like every time I sing Leonard Skinner when I enter the plane or Buddy Holly. <laughs> I used to say that when they had all the airport movies. Like, mm-hmm. great. I'm getting on the plane with George Kennedy. Great. I was uh, – one of my students I was talking to today, she was talking about going to Hawaii, and she's had this plan for, like, two years. And well, she uh, picked a good time for it because they are starting to spread again. Uh, so she's – yeah, she, like, in a, I guess in a couple of weeks, like, after school's done, like, she's, she's headed to Hawaii. Um, and I said, oh – well, and, and she's like, I've never flown before. I was like, well, don't watch Lost while you're going there. <laughs> Is she she's, so she's from, from, from Indiana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Second in flight, right? Dang. So she's got a four-hour flight from Indiana. No, three five, and a half. Five hours to from, I'm going from Indiana to L.A. And then, and then five, seven hours from L.A. to Hawaii. So I was just five hours. from Indianapolis seven. to what you seven, L.A. Do you guys fly backwards? It's, been long. it's only four. It's only four from Nashville to, to L.A. She said five from. It's got. It's got to be more than that. From Nashville, maybe like Nash. Three. Nashville is like four. To, four from Nashville to L.A. So that's about five and a half hours. Well, problem with here. Like, this is all theoretical because I just. This is my student that just randomly talked to me about this today. You can't get. A, you can't get a direct flight from here to anywhere. No, and and Raleigh. I've flown. I've flown to the West Coast like multiple times, and anytime I've ever gone out to Portland, it's always like. Two and a half hours to Denver. Two and a half hours. You're from not. Denver. You're not in Portland. It always comes back to Lost. Oh. <laughs> yeah, or right. or if you go to or if you go through Chicago O'Hare. I try to avoid that like the plague. That's a god. That's I never good. minded Chicago O'Hare. The delays. Yeah. My delays. My layovers were never that bad. Yeah, I, we were. We were, I remember one time we were coming back there, and, and everyone on the plane was getting ready to land. Like, oh shit, fuck! Bah, bah, bah. Cause all their pl- flights, we well, could see, were being delayed, 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 delayed. I, I, I've never been in an airport where people were already picking spots to sleep that night. And then, I, our, okay. and then our plane was delayed five and a half hours, and we got the last flight. I was like, why don't we just go rent a car and we'll drive? I, I, I don't know. Sleep, how I want to sleep in the airport. Up. I don't know how many times I've flown through Chicago O'Hare. I mean, because, uh, like, as a as a youngster, I started flying back and forth from 
um, Indiana or Ohio um, to Portland to visit my mom. And during that period of time, I would either go out of Chicago or I would go out of Denver. And uh, I think a lot of times I play, I flat, I flew United, which is why I ended up going through Chicago here because they have a, a main hub through there. So, and uh, I never remember being delayed. The only time that I remember like seriously fearing for my life is we were coming into Chicago O'Hare and there was a lightning storm and us flying through this like horrible, horrible thunderstorm. Was the pilot's name Stinky? (laughs) No, but most of my layovers, honestly, like in Chicago were always an hour. So, and I don't, I don't know if it was just my mom booking it or how it always worked out, but. I, I always, I only ever had an hour. I can, remember, I, I can remember changing my flight to a different city because the only layover they had was going through Chicago here. It was like 50 minutes. I go, fuck that. There's no way I'll get out of here in 50 minutes. I go, mm-hmm. send me anywhere else. Like, do not send me to Chicago. Send me somewhere else. Well, <laughs> she <believes in it. laughs> before, before I, I forget about anything else, I just want to like circle back to the fact that both Nick and I, uh, unknowns to each other, both do the can dent thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this is also a good place to dent this entire podcast with a commercial break. We've marked it. Marked it with the J. Yeah, I was, I was debating on it because like, I'm not sure if it's confirmed yet or not, but you know, they're talking about doing Comic Con this year during Thanksgiving, which I think I think think it's a three day Comic Con extravaganza. Um, okay. I'm not. I'm not. Go, I'm not going to go. Yeah. Well, the only reason why I'm considering going is because I had booked five flights before COVID, which I all ha- which I have credits for, um, and I have to use them all by March of next year. And it's like uh, that's, that's bullshit. Yeah. And so it's like, well, maybe I'll just fly to San Diego. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, they're opening everything back up there again, finally. Yeah. Either that or maybe I'll go to Anchorage or something. Like, I'm going to go to Anchorage. Why not? You ever been there? Yes. But I want to to take a cruise to Alaskan cruise. I always wanted to do that. Oh, that's what I did. Yeah, I did when I was 19. Uh, You start in Vancouver, and then you go all up to Anchorage, and then come back down the the panhandle. So you'll stop at the... Uh, the glaciers, a big glacier right there, like right where the arm starts, a little handle, and then you'll go to Skagway and Haynes and um, Narnia you know, and uh, yeah, uh, catch a can, catch a can. It's, it's actually quite nice, you know, it's it's really can, can, can. It's, it's geared for older people because you see a lot of gold and like gaudy, shit. but I like oh, it. So because you're, you're saying I would fit in because I'm old, I didn't say that, you said that. You implied that. I uh, was uh, Amy that. highly recommends, yeah. Oh, I, I thought, I thought, I thought Amy said yeah. she's high. As she recommends. Well, wasn't she talking about 420 earlier or something? Yeah, mm, pretty sure. Yeah. yeah, I think so. so but I, I like to Alaska cruise, man. I sat on the deck it's a lot, legal. You know, which uh, a lot of people didn't want to sit on the deck because it's cold. Uh, but you see a lot of whales. <laughs> you, you, you were probably sunning yourself, right? And the, you've got a lot of sun. Yeah. In the international waters, it's anything's legal. Man. That's true. It's true. It's internet. Yeah, you can. I could gamble, gamble and drink, do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. Well, we we had talked we had talked about doing a cruise, and she my wife just kept going. I don't think I'd be stuck in one of those cabins because she has claustrophobia and you know claustrophobic. So I go, you've been in a plane. It, it's actually not that bad because because yeah. uh, we we are like we're in the lowest class you could get because we just we figure we wouldn't be in the room anyway. Don't and, put yourself down being from Tennessee. No, Never do no that. you know what he he was you know you were Irish right. That's right. Titan- I'm used, to, I'm used to being. I'm used Titanic. to being in spirits. Yeah. 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 You you were behind the lock gates. Yeah. There's women and children here. We don't <laughs> care. We let me don't ha- care. let me ask you, fuckers. Here's the keys. <laughs> Here's the keys. I, I gotta go. Uh, but you know, like all the beds are kind of like uh like <laughs> prison beds or whatever. <laughs> like they go up into the walls, so you have like a. Open oh, she space. would. Lo- she would love that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she, she would love prison. You're, 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 you're selling this like there's no tomorrow. It's like yeah. I think, I think, I, I mean, hey, I let's have a no cruise. I said it's great. I liked it, and then you can eat every time, every meal. You can eat as much as you want. So it's as long as it's out of a can. Yeah, <laughs> you got to catch the rats. Yeah, you know, but yeah. You know. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they're big because they're at the bottom of the ship. The, 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 problem, is, the problem is taking Prison. a shower. It's probably taking a shower though because you got to have you got to hold on to yourself. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> the shower. Prison the shower. The shower, the shower. They basically Foods just give you a wet can. rag and a bucket. You know, and you just kind of. Oh, okay, that's yeah. nice. That's Clean nice. up your own mess. <laughs> yeah. It's the same one you pee into too. So you just kind of. Uh, yeah, but I know when we went to uh, when we were in London. I feel like you're on. I feel like I'm on the highway to heaven now with that. Yeah, it does look Matt's, like that. Yeah, <laughs> Matt's back. Amy. <laughs> what does it look like? Highway, highway to heaven. heaven. I'm on a highway to hell. Yeah, you know, Michael Landon. There, but you know. the, the elevators are. are hey, we're we, heavenly high. Or as we like to say in England, the lifts were really small. I mean, the closets are bigger here than the, you know, like the little closet I have over here. It was like you could barely get. It didn't my wife was like, I go, it's three floors up, three. Yeah. Floor. I go, but the wood sucked though. We got stuck. Now, have you ever been on one of those really, really old lifts? That's not. It's like uh, not the cage kind, but the kind that are just on a constant belt loop. Like they're just always constantly moving. It only fits like one person. So like they're just they're just in the side of the walls there, and you see them moving the entire time. Oh, really? and like you just step into it, and it just fits you. And then like oh. you just go up, and then you step out when you're. I have not seen. I, I was watching a show the other day when someone said, uh, "They on an elevator." They always say, "I'll wait for the next one." Well, there's only one elevator. It's the same elevator. Just a, so what are they saying? They'll wait for the next one. Does that make I'll sense? Wait for the next. You, you have bo, and I'm ready. For I, I get that, but I'm saying, but they're saying that they're, they're acting like there's like different elevators. There could be, there could be other elevators. You don't no, know. No, the same one it goes up and down. I don't, I don't know. Have you ever gotten an elevator? Because sometimes you're in a hotel, it, it takes forever, even though it's going up nine floors first. Oh yeah, absolutely. I said, "Fuck it!" And then everyone goes, "It's going up." I go, "I don't care. I've been sitting here for ten minutes, waiting for one to come down." I go by because what would happen was by the time it'd come down. To us, there'd be fifty people in there. You're like going. Did you, ever, did you ever do the beep 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 beep? I'm gonna push all of the buttons and jump out. Have you ever done that? Those people would go to hell. <laughs> Actually, my, my daughter and I, uh, as a joke to my wife and younger daughter, we pressed all the buttons on this <laughs> one in England. <laughs> it was only four. It was, it was four. I think four or five uh, stories. And we ran down the stairs to the bottom. We're waiting. <laughs> we didn't know there was another lady in there. Oh, oh my God. She, she came out. We're like this going. She's just, she's all pissed. I go. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I've done it. I used to do it as a kid all the time. It was fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, it was kind of like I, I felt like something you had to do. You have to do. I'm a kid. I have to do that. Yeah. Like. There's a there's a I didn't, do, I, didn't do with, I didn't do it with my mom there because I would have been picking my head off the floor. But uh, oh no, you never did it with your parent around. You had to do yeah. that like on the fly. So we used to go to uh, places as kids and just go up, <laughs> just go in elevators and do that, and then ride our bikes or skateboard would, away. Would, to me, when I was a kid, like the idea of a revolving door, any any building with a revolving door, escalators and elevators. It was pretty much like that was the high benchmark of anything yeah. with you know technology or sophistication. If I went into a mall or a building and it had a water fountain, fuck that shit. That is you finally take a bath? <laughs> no. No, you wouldn't take the bath? You still had an opportunity and you wouldn't do it? I don't know what you're talking about. I take baths and showers. I'm not like a. I, th- I thought you were like, like really. Uh... I mean, no, I'm just saying, like, like a fountain. Anytime you saw a fountain on the inside, three like, coins in a fountain. It was always so it's cool. Kind of, it's, kind of, it's kind of like Jack when he would go into buildings as a kid, you know, and they had alternate current instead of direct current. It was like, <laughs> wow, you know, like you can't get over it. Mm-hmm. It, it was nice. It was. It's nice. made by Westinghouse. Look at it, Dad. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, he never had the adapter. So he couldn't right. charge his shaper. No, uh, couldn't. Uh, shit, what was I going to say about elevators? I remember, I remember when I was really young, why are they all named Otis? Yeah. Otis, what, Otis Elevators. Because when, when I would oh. think, when I think Otis, I think the Andy Griffith show. And That's, I, I know. Oh, totally. And Otis is a drunk. I go, and my parents just go, shut up. <laughs> you're, you're bugging shut us. Shut up. That's when you could use oh. the word shut up. You can't use that word name anymore. My my uh, building, the work building I worked in in L.A. It was kind of like the uh, Empire State Building. And it... <laughs> I'm reading the chat. So, sorry, oh, sorry. Rand, Randy oh. is uh, 
I'm killing it <laughs> nice. tonight here. Uh, John, it nobody one, cares it, that it's Tony Danza's 70th birthday. It was I, one of those. It was one can't of those believe buildings. he's that old already. Go ahead. Nick. It was one of those buildings that uh, the elevator only went to 20 floors, and then you have to get out, go to another elevator well to go up to the next 20 floors, and then like it's just like he didn't have one that just went all the way up. It's just like God ba- damn it, bastards, yeah. fucking bastards, fucking bastards, fucking bastards, picking me off, pissing me off, <laughs> be pissed on, pissed on, pissed on, pissed on. What? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't. Um... Well, that's the show for tonight, do, folks. Do you, guys, do you guys watch Piggy Blinders? No, no I have no? not watched a Piggy. Piggy Blinders. Pinky Blinders. P- Pinky. Did I say? Did I say Piggy? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounded Pinky like Blinders. Piggy. I didn't realize that the woman that plays, she actually passed away this week. Was uh, oh. Damian Lewis's wife? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. She's only like fifty something. Fifty two. She's excellent in Piggy Blinders. Gosh, she's right there at Matt's age. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, we're, ta- we're, ta- we're talking to Jay the other day. We were talking to Jay the other day. Oh, he, you still talk to him? Yeah, every now and then. What's he, he doing? We, we brought the grandkids over. You know, Is he podcasting he just, still? He just throws them out of the car at this point, doesn't he? He just like, actually, shoves them he, out as actually, he drives he did, by. He, did, he stopped and talked with us for like two, two, two and a half hours. I hadn't oh talked my God. that long. Wow. wow. He, he did put advertisement. He had to keep stopping for advertising. His, his, he was talking the whole time. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, he... Uh, he started saying, "Oh, you know, we somehow we got into the subject of death." And he was talking about, "Oh, there's no I heaven." Uh, yeah, uh, there's no heaven. I go, "Look, we're old. You don't tell old people there's no heaven." You, it's, you, you know, it's just black. It's just darkness. It's just like, hey, I, I want to have you, know, you got to have something to shoot for at this at this point. He goes, mm-hmm. "Well, I don't want because I don't want to go on forever." I go, "Okay, yeah. Again, you don't want to tell old people that there's no. It, it just you're in the box or you're." You're cremated. That's it. That's it. That's the end. That's right. the end of the hallway. You don't want to. You don't want to tell people that. No. You got to prepare yourself. I go. Well, if there's nothing at the end, what am I preparing myself for? You don't. I know. So you, what do I have? To, he says you have to prepare yourself for what? If there's nothing there, because I figure I got to. If there is, I got to answer all the goddams. That's, that's God damn it! I said that's like a, it that many times. Really, you think that's going to be the thing? Yeah, I think so because I, I've used I say it all the time, but I'm thinking they're going to have like a list there. I go, really? Hmm. That's that's a real big deal with you guys. I mean, well, of all the things, I could kill somebody and that that'd be okay. But if I said, "God damn it," too many times, they're like, "Well, at one time you were watching porn, you clicked on a certain link, and that was a little too weird for us, so you're going to hell." <laughs> wait, wait, do, can, do I get do I get a second chance? Is there? Like, uh, like, sorry, all of the goddams they kind of can I pick, it over the scale. Can I pick from one of the dead lawyers that's up here? And they go, "There's no lawyers up here." Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> it, you know, <laughs> this is heaven. You don't bring lawyers to heaven. He- lawyers don't get in heaven. What's you know, right? if you've gotten a tattoo, you we may have let you slide, but um, ironically, your culture thinks that tattoos are bad. <laughs> uh, so I was, uh, was going to get a tattoo if the Chargers won the Super Bowl. Okay, well, so you're basically what, so you're clean. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it now, but, but even before, I didn't have to worry about it. So Jay and I both agree that if they won the Super Bowl, we'd get the tattoo. Yeah, and it's it's a shame too because you know you wouldn't have been able to show everybody because it would have been on your dick. <laughs> you're gonna have you're gonna have superchargers written on your dick so that when it was fully <laughs> charged. <laughs> <laughs> you told us this. You told us this before we started recording. Just the lightning. Sports. You were we talking some, about the chance of thunder. You, you feel that bolt, baby? <laughs> <laughs> you said that when flaccid, it would just be charger. But then when it was fully erect, it would say supercharger. I'm pretty sure you said that. I'm I'm I might be misquoting you. Go back to eat your human chips. I mean, my God, where, where did that come from? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Only Sheep Boy would come up with that one. Randy liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then Matt comes up with a funny. Supercharger should be the name of the episode. See? I knew somebody would like it. Thanks, Mike. Is, is it wrong that I, I could, I, maybe I should put stinky on it and just have anal sex? Right? No. no. <laughs> where's, where's my, where's my other backdrop here? Wait, you didn't like that one? Um, I woke up today and I, the, the married man show came out. What do you want me to do? Taint nothing wrong with that. 
<laughs> well, we were talking about prison earlier, so there you go. Um, so other weird shows that I was watching though. Have you have you guys ever seen uh, Rick and Morty? I've not. But I've never I've watched it. Heard, I know what it is, and I've, I've heard I know, the, I know the cartoons. I know the premise. I just okay. watched it. So, and I, uh, other people smarter than me that are probably in the chat right now may may know, but there's another show that is basically the same animation style and also has the voice of, of Rick, um, and it's called Solar Opposites. It's on Hulu, and I kind of just casually watched the first season, but now I'm into the second season. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's very weird. Miami Mike in the chat says you should tattoo Stinky on your ass next to Dean Spanos, Spanos' face. I didn't know that Jack had a tattoo of Dean Spanos on, his on my ass. Sure, I do. Where else would you put a Dean Spanos tattoo? <laughs> I guess wherever you sit down, but you know, gives him a little bit. Every time I shit, it just goes right. Out of his mouth. Out of his mouth. <laughs> anyway, if, if you enjoy, if you enjoy Rick and Morty. You know, give Solar Opposites a chance. It you know, it is not Rick and Morty. It is something different entirely. I would say the one odd thing though so it's is like one, Rick and Morty, but it's not like Rick and Morty. Yeah, it has its own flair. I would say one odd thing is is that if you're familiar with Goldberg's, the actor that plays Adam Goldberg is one of the voices on the show. And every time I hear him, I'm like, how is this? How is Adam Goldberg fucking here doing this? This makes no sense. So it always throws me for a loop. How old is Adam Goldberg now on the Goldbergs? Is he in college? I, I, I feel like he should be 20. Like he's shaving, but we just don't know. Like he has to shave before every. He's still trying out. to play a high school kid. Cause he, there's no yeah. way he can be in high mm-hmm. school anymore. He's got to be in a senior year. It's been well, the 80s forever. Well, that's what was weird about even Modern Family. It was that I think uh, the oldest daughter was like 22 or 23. Haley, <laughs> Haley it was like 20, early 20s when the show started. It was in her early 30s when it was over. I was watching it. Yeah. Clip. <laughs> I was surfing uh, uh, YouTube and they it says the title says, Grab a Hoe. And the mom says, the three kids are there. And he says, quick, Luke, grab a hoe. He grabs his <laughs> sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny. That's when the show was fun. The problem with the show, they should have just started writing the kids off. Yeah, it just went, because, it went on the, too long. Yeah. The kids stopped being funny. Mean, Manny went from being cute and funny to being just obnoxious. Oh, yeah, yeah that, absolutely. Totally. Yeah. yeah. I feel and bad, I like, I feel bad I like, for the actor. It's not his fault. Yeah. He was so good as it, but as he got, it's like they had no. And totally unrecognizable on the other show uh, about the Manny. Uh, this is us. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, Matt Trees in the comments. I knew you'd know something about Solar Opposites. I just felt it uh, through the force here. He says, "Unfortunately, Thomas Middleditch is in Solar Opposites." Oh, you said I, that. Pretty, you said that pretty good. I don't know Middle who Ditch. Thomas Middleditch is. Middleditch. So uh, I don't of, know. What kind of name is Middleditch? I don't know, but I'm. Looking you know, you know what he was. Time. You know, he was teased growing up. Hey, Middle. Excuse me while I go into Chris mode here. You changed your name. I like Miami Mike. Pan Am is was also Pan Am was also like for Good Morning. <laughs> It was. Oh, yes. oh, I see. Yes. So the guy from um, the guy from um, oh yeah, I know that guy. Yeah. Oh, didn't he get in trouble or something recently? Didn't he do something? Everybody's always in trouble. No, I thought I thought he I thought he no was no involved. like, like he, was in, in, he, he was involved in something. Uh, yeah, no, something happened that was bad. I, I yeah. can't remember what it was. I mean, it was supposed to be. I can't. I wish I could remember what it was. I don't want to bring it up. Mm. Like. He was great in Silicon Valley. He did that sitcom. My wife and I tried it for a while. It was on CBS where he's, he needs a kidney and and the girl, some friend of his, or he knew in high school with the kidney, but she's a, she's a like to party and all this stuff. So she he can't have the kidney if she's all always drinking. So she was funny on the show. He wasn't. His character wasn't mm-hmm. funny. He groped women. That's, it was something like that. He did something that he shouldn't have done, but I can't remember what it was. So. Until we find out, I don't want to crucify Tim Thomas <clears throat> Little Dick. He, he took Van Hagar's side, Sammy Hagar's side in the Van yeah. Halen dispute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He did. Oh, huh. okay. Are you with us, Matt? Yeah, oh, sorry. Cool. I was going down to Thomas <laughs> Middle Dick. Uh, you find out you what know, it was? 
So, well, as Miami Mike cuts to the t- chase with, well, where he says he groped women, I think. So, All right. and he's Matt been, has now it, become Chris in this episode. And and Matt Trees <laughs> mentions that he has he has been accused of a bunch of stuff. So, because it shocked um, me when I heard it, because you think of him as the guy on Silicon Valley. Where he's yes, that. correct. Um, but um, he's not. And apparently there was an actress on Silicon Alley that uh, Silicon Silico- Valley. So that makes more sense if it's called Silicon Valley. Silicon, uh, Silicon Valley, yeah. <laughs> Silicon Valley. That's a diff- uh, that's a diff- that's a porn television. version of uh, yeah. this show. Mm-hmm. And I believe he's probably going to be in that. Uh, probably <laughs> so. Uh, and I didn't realize he was involved with the with the show Cloak and Dagger, but it says Cloak and Dagger mm-hmm. misconduct claims include. I never did watch that. I, never I, I actually started watching it. I I kind of enjoyed it. The first like I don't know four episodes, I got into it, and well, I remember I Chris I recommending it, it, and then it just kind of slipped out of my radar. It, I thought it really had a strong start to it, um, you know, like, and I was intrigued by the characters, but um, but yeah, I didn't didn't finish or follow through with that. So <laughs> my wife and I are still watching uh, across, across the sea. What is it we're watching? I talked, about, I, t- I talked about, yeah, the PBS show. Mm-hmm. So this week, you got yeah, FDR. He's driving his car. And my wife goes, how's he driving his car? He can't use his legs. They go, he's got, on the column. He's got, he's got hand control. They go, they didn't have that technology then. I go, all right, keep that thought till after the episode. But that's how he's driving the car. So I had to <laughs> Google. I said, see, that's how he's driving the car. But he, he's, like, he's hitting on the princess as we're, as we're speaking right now. I was watching PBS just before, uh, before we recorded tonight about uh, – no longer um, have Laura Linney. Well, she does. Well, she always did the intros. She doesn't. She's not doing it anymore. They kicked her off. Huh. I, I mean, it just goes. It does the same music. Same, but there's no Laura Linney. Well, maybe they just were like, "Hey, we don't need to pay her to just do this. We could just start the show." Yeah. Well, I. It makes sense. I never understood why they had her in the first place. Not that yeah. I'm against Laura Linney. I'm just saying it just didn't make sense. But go ahead. You were saying, Nick. Yeah, I, was, I watched uh, it's another one of those series, but this one's like called American something. But it was about this episode was about Frank Baum, who wrote Wizard of Oz, and about his life. I was like, I thought that was really interesting about so many things with the Wizard of Oz that you don't, the, the symbolism of it that you don't really think about, especially if you've only watched the movie. Mm. Uh, like with, because, um, you know, it starts off because he was living in um, South Dakota. And then we're going through like an economic depression in the 1890s and the, the first drought that hit. And that's what the whole, you know, first chapter is about, you know, like it's all black and white. It's all like grim, like, you know, all that stuff. And then and, like and the yellow brick road was no one had anywhere to pee. Uh huh. So, so they just, just peed on, on the road. Yeah. road. So that's how they got the yellow brick road. Well, it's things like, like, you know, the scarecrow is kind of a symbolism of the agrarian part of the 19th century, which is dying out. And the Tin Man is the modernization with machines and all these things like that. And how like he doesn't have a heart. Whereas in the Scarecrow in the past doesn't have a brain. It's like all these things that are going into it. And then it's like, if you also think about it from a, a um, really a progressive part of the way, um, it's like a, a, one of the first female heroines who did not have to marry like the prince. It's like a very, you know, cause little girls at that time didn't have adventures, you know, but she did. And then well, you, think, you think about like, cause he was very much into the uh, uh, women's rights voting and like the, women educated women are always called witches, you know? So like, it's like, you have a good witch and a bad witch, you know? And then it's like, Oh, I just things you don't think about. And what, what like, would have happened if she would have gone up with the balloon with Oz would have been a different ending. Sure. He seemed kind of a creeper. Just saying a little bit. I always wondered that too. Like what would have happened? Yeah. Because you know, he's going up in a balloon. How you get to Kansas from there? I don't That didn't make sense. Still, nobody, I, nobody I get, wants to go to Kansas. The good fairy. I, I did a video on this. I, I would have beat the shit out of her. So, you always had the ability to go home. <laughs> so you put me through all this shit for nothing. I'm gonna Fuck. kick your fucking ass. And of course, you got the scarecrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Switch to the hard Pellegrino. Uh, huh? All right, yeah, yeah. The, the hard Pellegrino. I, I'm a different sure. color, a different cannon. You you punched the. Uh, I did. I was just showing that to, to Nick. So he, uh, well, you can show it just, to me too. I, I I know the story now. I'm I'm just saying, like, okay, what sucks is I know you guys got your inside crap. But if everybody does this at a party, you know, I'd be fucked because then I wouldn't know which can is mine. I, I'm going to come out to a party 
some. But I am left-handed, yeah. so it tends to go to, to one side. I'm yeah, gonna dent for, everybody's for, camera. What are you doing? I'm, gonna, I'm fucking with Matt. And I go, okay, I'm good. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> only only Sherlock Holmes would be like, oh, this was done by a right-handed mm-hmm. ex-hockey ref. <laughs> <laughs> No, wait, the, wait, wait. see the contempt a right here. A podcaster. Yeah. A podcaster. Podcaster. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I was going to say something about Wizard of Oz, but now I forgot. Um, you were going to oh, talk and about- then, like, yeah, and they were getting into, like, it is a good good hour and a half, whatever, documentary, because he's talking about mm-hmm. how he went to the World's Fair in Chicago, and they built this facade futuristic city there called like the white city. And that's where he got the idea for Oz. Like, you know, cause that was supposed to be what America could be, you know, in the future, mm-hmm. but it was all fake, you know? So he's like, what if, you know, your aspiration is all this and then you get there to realize it's not real, you know? And it's like, and that's, it's like, Oh, that's pretty interesting. It's yeah. all one big Amazon warehouse people. Now we used to have a thing in California. Now this is back. Now remember this is back in the sixties, seventies and early 80s and there was urban legend that the, the cast from the, the Wizard of Oz moved to this place on Mount Soledad which is overlooking La Jolla Shores it has like the cross on top of it from trying to get rid of the cross they go back and forth for, forever but there's houses up there at certain angle the doors only look like they're three feet high oh. so it, they're not it's just it's just how it looks from the side of the road you go and so you would when, once you got a license because you heard the story your whole life you drive to Mount Soledad to see these Munchkin houses, and you go, "Oh my God, it's true!" Because you, if you're driving by the, if you're driving down these streets, just because of the angle and how they're built, they do look like they're only three feet high. Hmm. I don't know if they're still like that. I don't know if people they got tired of people coming up there because we used to we used to have fun going up there and, and doing things. But anyway, um, the smoking day, yeah. at the water tower. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing about that. But look, it, it, look at the blood stains, man. <laughs> But it was uh, it was an urban legend and just one of those things that once you got a license, you had to go see it. Yeah. Plus, it overlooks La Jolla. I mean, if, if you've ever been to La Jolla's beach, I mean, it's... I know you and I have. I don't know yeah. about my hat. Yeah, I know I have. Yeah, it's... it's, it's no. One, one of the, it's a, nice, it's one of the nicer beach. It's one of the nicer beaches. <laughs> if you can find parking. Well, you can't find parking. That's why I say you go to Mount Solar Dad. You, you know what to, I always say? Hmm. I say, beach. <laughs> Sorry. In my own little world here, people. Look, I, I got a dent in my cup, my my bottle. See, you that doesn't matter. That's just because I, I, I was I was, I was worried. Lame. For, since I'm here, that someone else could take my uh my water bottle. It's it's become such a habit that uh, I don't me, even think about me, it. Me now. too. Like, I, I got a dent right here. Yeah, it's automatic for me. As soon as Especially I, as I open it. Yeah. Well, his is based on beer. Mine was based on something yeah, else. Mine's but... based on beer. Tenko Junction. Mine was based on fear. <laughs> There's a little hotel. At the Moon the Tower, man. The Moon the Tower. Junction. The water tower. Tenko Junction. I still don't think it belongs in the top the 10 time. theme songs. Do you of the 60s? You know? Lots of curves, you bet. Even more when you get to the junction. Tenko Junction. See, once it's in your head, you can't stop. It makes me know. think of a Ron White joke because he's talking about, he goes, Yeah, he goes, you know, you don't really want to up here on stage. You can't see past you know, the second, third row. And he goes, One night, this woman was sitting there and she had her legs wide open. And I, le- I actually stopped the show and said, Hey, miss, could you uh, close your legs? I can see your uh, your slip. And he goes, It's not a slip, it's a petticoat. <laughs> and he goes, Well, he goes, Well, I can see the junction. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where they got that from. Yeah. So. Richard Dent, Bucky Dent. Yeah, speaking of Buck, Bucky, Harvey Dent, Bucky. Do you ever see uh, who, who was Bucky Dent's son? What was it was his son's name? He, Try. Um, Try Dent. <laughs> that was a joke that because when because Bucky Dent hit that because the Red Sox and Yankees uh, back in seven, I think it was seventy eight. The Yankees had uh, the Red Sox. Um, Chris would have loved this story. Red Sox had like a 14 game lead and they choked they choked it. They had to have a playoff game and Bucky Dent of all people hit the home run that put the Yankees over the top. So that's when everyone is, hey, what, what's Bucky Dent's son's name? Try. Ah! Anyway, go ahead. Buddy. But and that it also did happen though very, very late in Half the seven. year. And that's why he got the nickname the Winter Soldier. 
So there you go. That's what I was going to bring up too, because we haven't talked about that in a while. We have not. So I what did you think of uh, the last I episode? Thought, I haven't watched it. Is it like in a series? Mm. You've seen the first episode, like, haven't you? No, it's like, is that the one that's like four hours long? No. It's, no. It's, I think it's was, uh, where you finish, what, the sixth episode? I think there's only seven. Is this yeah. on HBO? Yeah. No, no Disney it's on Plus. Disney Plus. Disney Plus. So, Plus. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I yeah, have they, not, do, they do cuss a lot. I do need a break. I, th- I think I said last week, I need a break from all these superhero movies and shows. I, I need oh, a break. sure. I need mm-hmm. a break. There's too think, many of them. Stop. Do something else. I think that's what's been enjoyable about the more gritty ones. Although this, this if you're following the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this is kind of a big thing because we're, we're only getting so much right now, especially with like, all of the COVID. movie plans. Yeah, like all of the movie plans. COVID really kind of shut down a lot of the movie plans that Marvel had. And fucking so COVID. Fucking COVID, man. I put, I put a dent in COVID just to um, know, know that that's my COVID. So, you know, like fans have been waiting for this. They've been waiting for WandaVision. They've been waiting for Falcon and Winter Soldier. And this is the only like things that are kind of moving the story forward. And, you know. I don't know. There were moments with like this last episode where I was just like, I did see Falcon oh. and the Snowman. Like I was just like, oh, this is like taking fucking forever. Sean Penn and uh, what's his name? But well, yeah, what's 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 like this? Timothy. Uh... I know, I know, Jack won't get the reference, but we there's a meme out there called "This Old Boat." And I, and it kind of is making fun of this old house, except it's, it's Michael like, rode the boat ashore. Nick, do you know what I'm talking about? Actually, I don't. This old house, I remember that show. Okay, so you know what happens in the the most recent episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier, right? Of course. Yeah. Okay. They got They're married. fixing up a boat. Oh, that yeah. Hmm. So so isn't the that meme about this... isn't that Shawshank Redemption? No, it's wait, true. Wait, you you haven't even Redemption? seen it. I'm just saying they are, they're fixing a boat dude. at the end. Is yeah. it red? Fix no, no, not red. Um... Well, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier are fixing a boat, and that is like. They could have. They could have called the episode "Fixing the Boat." They should have been on. They should have been on Gilligan's Island. Yeah, um, I, that that's where I know I'm going to be. Even though, I, even though I've it. enjoyed the season of Falcon mm-hmm. and the Soldier, I'm going to be disappointed because it's all just set up. That's all it is. Well, and, and, like, and then they, the the character that they set up, Val, who introduces but, herself, and they, that was probably the most. That was probably well, they, the most mind blowing moment. Well, I they, they they set up four characters in this in this episode. Yeah. So you, there was, there was you have, Val. You have Val, Kent, who's who's Bucky. Bucky. <laughs> you have Val, who's Lady Hydra. Uh, you have Falcon, Lady, who's Lady, now going to be Hi- Lady Hydra. Yep. You, uh, Mistress Hydra. Uh, Mistress. You have you have um, you know Falcon's obviously going to become uh, the killer. new Captain America. Right. Uh, then you have his uh, sidekick, military guy, who's going to become Falcon too. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you have maybe a uh, Falcon, and then you have the false Captain America, who right. I would personally wish he would turn to Captain um, Hydra. It's, it's but yeah, you know, but in the <laughs> comics, he's going to be you know U.S. agent. But I would much rather him be you know uh, Captain that's what Hydra. I, that's I, what I thought we were going to get. I thought we were going to get Captain Hydra. Hydra, that the yeah. way they were setting up Val being yeah. Mike, Mike makes a good. Point. I, 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 I think, think it's cool. I think it's cooler <laughs> if they do it with Captain Hydra instead of U.S. Agent because U.S. Agent just sounds lame. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's what we already got. No, right? U.S. Agent. Yeah. Well, no, no, you don't think so. I mean, I, I just feel like that's kind of what we got. We got a U.S. Agent kind of character, right? Yeah, sort of, but I mean that. But that's that's the in the eighties comic book. That's how mm-hmm. it goes: is that he becomes Captain America, and then after what happens, he becomes U.S. Agent. So okay. it's kind of like a demotion, but yeah, right. But yeah, I, I think if he goes, does Captain it come, with, does it come with a reduction in pay? I think so. so I, I just felt like they were they were setting up something like larger because when they introduced, is it, is it present day? Yes. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. And and I'll just say this much for for Jack who just doesn't get two I don't I don't, li- I don't like present day. I'm fed um, up with it. The fact that they had Julia Julia Louise Dreyfus like show up like surprised me Marco. like that. Like that. Well, the fact that like they they pulled out a heavy hitter for that character. True. You know because what I mean? I like, think I think it's because she's also in. Um, I, I saw her at Disneyland. Uh, Black Widow. I think she's in Black Widow. Okay. 
But see, like for my son, who you know, my son and I that are watching, you know, watching it together, it's like he's he's ten. He doesn't know her. I mean, aside from the fact that it's Margot, but he's not going to recognize that. And he hasn't he, he doesn't, seen. He hasn't, watched, he hasn't watched Seinfeld yet. No, we don't watch. We haven't Seinfeld, even referenced so. Seinfeld yet. But but you know, but the fact though that you know, I turn to him and I'm like, okay, this character is a big deal. Like you don't know this, but this lady, like they're not they're not messing around since they cast this actress. Like, I know you don't know who she is, but she, she used is... to be, she used to be the president. Really... Yeah, I, yeah. I know. That's what I'm like. I'm like, look, like she's a big deal. This is an important character that's going to come, come up again. So this is going to set up some things. So, um, it's just one of those things that you do as you're like, you know, watching it and you know, so this you're spo- much. did he ask to be spoiled? No, I mean it. It doesn't spoil him, and just kind of lets well, him know, like, it's, it's hey, like, okay, is- it's like when someone does that to me, I get pissed. Don't tell me that. I I will figure that out on my own. You know what? Don't I'll, tell I'll, me that. I will teach my son how I want to teach him, Jack. Thank you very so much. So you're you're teaching him. So, you, so what you're doing is you're teaching him to be spoiled. He's going to resent you. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Because I plan on taking my son to an NFL game. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've already done that. So check and mate. Oh, so I, I did it first, though. Okay. Wow. Well, I did, I did, it took a longer time. It did. It did. It did. <laughs> I took him. Tw- I took him twice. I took his whole family. And he wow. ordered. And he ordered room service. Jeez. I said, uh, I know. Hey, it's like, you can't take Cliff? advantage of me here. Yes, yeah, Michael and Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, that hurt. I just, I'm just saying, I don't like when someone. <laughs> Ouch, somebody, that hurt. You're coming at me, man. I'm, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Not everybody likes to be spoiled like that because you're sitting there. Now the whole time I got to because my wife will do that. I go, why would you tell me that? I go, just let me watch. Not now. I'm focusing on. Okay, now I'm wondering what that character's. It's like we're watching the uh, that across the sea thing, and she goes, oh yeah, she ended, he ended because she likes to skip ahead and read the. And she mm-hmm. goes, oh, I think he he Frank Della Rosa has an affair with her. I go. Why would you tell me that? She goes, you didn't know? I go, I told you last week I know nothing about this story. Nothing. I go, yeah, they were hint- they're hinting at that because Roosevelt's just letting the country run itself as he's trying to pick up on this woman. I, seriously, he's just like going, ah, screw World War II, all that different stuff. I don't care about all those people. I, I want the princess Thank of Norway. Your Brazil. Yeah, I want the princess of Norway. I finally found and traveled the town. I'm just imagining FDR like getting a lap dance. They do play I'm, Happy Days. I'm, right I'm, here just again. I'm just wondering if it works. Well, it had something had to work. So he had six kids. So yeah, but that's yeah, before, way before. He wasn't always paralyzed. Yeah, so I know. I know. Funny. I know that. I know that. But I'm just like saying. He had a well. I'm assuming it does. Well, didn't he have hand control there? <laughs> it's on a string. <laughs> well, um, we know one thing's for sure: the really? polio vaccine works. Because we don't have to worry about polio. Oh, well, we shouldn't have to. No. So, well, just a testament of time. It was like what was it? Lewis Black had a bit about the measles. No, smallpox. He goes, you know, when I was a kid, you know, we all got the smallpox vaccine, you know, and so it was going to last forever. And then like when we had a breakout, what was it, like 10 years ago or so, it was like yeah. all of a sudden they told everybody, it's like, oh, yeah, those smallpox vaccinations that you got back when the 60s have probably worn off by now. It's like, so I was told a lie my whole <laughs> life. I thought, at least I'm not getting smallpox. <laughs> like, well, there's a, there's a lot of things like that. They say it'll last forever. Did you read the fine print? Well, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying with this whole COVID vaccine. I go, I go, wait, people are going to have to get another shot a year from now. Fine. Yeah. Good luck with this thing's never going away. Cause I said, people, well, I mean, it'd be the no shot is free and it's, 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 it's really, it's free and people still like, going, ah. but it, it, it's really no different than getting a, a flu shot. So, and I realize that it's harder to get more people to get, um, you know, a vaccine, but, well, you know, I've had the flu shot for multiple years in a row, and it and yes, every now and then I still get the flu because it, it's a different strain. But mm-hmm. there's been there's been years where well, because I've dodged a bullet. Your jeans get wet and you get cold. 
Fuck you with your jeans comment. To to be a little bit of a devil's advocate here. Man. Well, I'm know, wearing we're, jeans today. I'm wearing yeah, great about, pants. About the shot. It's like, especially if you're really young. You know, it's like it's one of those things where you have a 99.2 survival rate, even if you get it. It's like so. <laughs> I'm reading the chat, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true, he didn't. He did not last forever. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, Nick. Go ahead with your story. No, 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 like, Blame Randy. Yeah. Uh, did you did you ban Sherry? Because I haven't seen her make a comment since I told said I don't know. Exactly. you're gonna do she it. Just, yeah, she got depressed about stinky, I guess. Yeah. Um, Way to go, Matt. Uh but it's like, okay, so then, like, for people who are skeptical, because there's a lot of people out there that are that way, you know, it's just like, so I already have a 99.2% chance of survival. And my phone's been amazing since I gave this. Well, they said <laughs> yeah, exactly. healthy, uh, healthy young people. So you got the 5G. I'm glad that Miami Mike upgraded to 5G. Yeah. But, but no, that's healthy young people. Yeah, healthy think. young people. Yeah. So, like, yeah, if you're it's, vulnerable, it's, hey, you're, you're not young. I'm not young. I'm not saying. I, yeah, I'm not I thought you said people like yourself. No, I didn't say people like myself. Oh, okay, I said people that are younger. Yeah, because I'm not even talking about Matt. So it's like you know, if you're younger, you already have a 99.8 percent chance of survival anyway. It's like, or it's like I can take this experimental RNA spike, which you have no idea what's going to happen to you in 30, 40, 50 years after taking well, I, it. I won't be around in 40 years, so no, I exactly. got that going for me. Zombie apocalypse. No, it, it's a it's a it's a risk. I I I you know I'm not I'm not here to criticize people not taking it. Yeah, I, oh. I'm just I'm just saying. Okay, a year from now we couldn't get people. To, people are like ah fuck it, I'm not taking the booster. Ah, you know. I'm just saying. I I I just been listening. I just you know watch things and they say, well, in order to get the herd mentality, you know, we gotta get the. Yeah. Anyway, every time I hear herd, I think of Walking Dead, though. Exactly. Again, I'm not, if you're, I'm not if saying you're, people if should if take the vaccine. If, if you've there, chosen not to take it, I'm not here to criticize you. It's your choice not to take it. No. I'm not telling you to well, take it. I'm not telling you not to take it. I'm just saying I've taken one and I'm going to take the other one. I've 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 thought about a lot of different aspects of because Matt hasn't taken it yet either. What? No. The Johnson Johnson one doesn't count. No, it's I got count, Johnson. And I'm fine. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. No, it's it defective. They took it off the market, it's, so like it, you need when, to take it again. When you no. went and got the shot, and they 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 had their syringe out, did you put like a dent in it to make sure it was yours? It's true. <laughs> Wait a right. minute. This is what happened. Right. I got. Wait a minute. Don't take the shot yet. There you go. I got before it. before Jack cuts my me, shot. <laughs> before Jack cuts me off again, I will just say this because I've I've thought about a lot of different aspects Jerry's of this. Go ahead. Thanks. Um, you know, uh, several months ago, I did a dumb ass thing by riding that sled down that in hill. Jeans. Yeah. yeah, in you know. jeans. And like the, ch- the chafing alone. And, and I jeans immediately, get off. Yeah. I immediately regretted Cotton my decision. Skin, wet. Um, you know, you but still I was some, like, you probably still have some in your skin, like ripped off as they. Oh yeah. I can't imagine being a nurse in there when they wheeled you in, eating the scissors out, having to cut those damn things off. It's like leather. Like yeah, those, are, those, are, those are tough. Those are. Tough. Yeah. I remember having to do that when people when people would like break their legs. You guys, you guys yeah. suck. Like, and, and, I can't they, even. I can't even talk about this. Remember, we we got we got new uh, figure skates, and the guy broke his leg. And they're like this. His the guy and the paramedic gets out. I go, you got to cut him. And I go, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But his then they took the skate of his. Foot was up here, his leg was up here. But go ahead, I'm sorry. That's did disgusting. You, did you bring Pippi stop uh, Pippi, uh, Pippi long stockings back? Just put like patches all over the jeans now, like where the holes were. <laughs> Actually, cool. if it was the '60s and '70s, you could put little flowers and pieces. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd, be, that'd be cool. Let the sunshine. Go ahead. Right, so, does this story have an ending, Matt? No, because you guys always fucking interrupt. What do you mean, you guys? Thing. Nick started it. Both of you. No, this Nick started. Is bullshit. Nick started it. Um. <laughs> I mean the chat. Anyway, I just I just wanted to say like like I I did a dumbass maneuver, so so stupid. I felt awful about it, you know. Um, and many people, I think, as they put themselves at risk for COVID in general, and there's a lot of people that get it, they're fine, they they recover, and they're okay. But they're left with this like 
this thing, this lingering like feeling of like, oh, I'm lesser or I did this or I'm tainted because I did something stupid, right? Like somehow I got this or I, I injured myself. Like for me, I, it felt very real emotional depression from from this thing that I did. It was it was dumb and and I felt like I was financially winded by this and also like physically forever changed, you know? Sorry. And I would think that no no different than anybody that would would be getting covid. I'm not saying that it's the same, but just the fact that you feel that you put yourself out there in a way that that you're kind of changed. But yours was an accident. So no, mine was an accident, but I did put myself in a situation that 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 allowed me to be injured. No different Which, than anybody that would be, you know, putting themselves in a in a work position. Or, in your defense, though, you said that the slope was not that high, and then it was higher up, so you weren't looking at it. You know, so I you, it. you said yeah. that you know originally the slope was fine, and then when you came back, like the next day. So when it built it up and that's why. Right. Well, yeah, it was higher. It was, it wasn't it was your fault. Like, it was the asshole that built it up. Exactly. Sure. But I mean, I still, I still could have like, I still could have done, done, done more to, but I guess the point, point is, is that even by like getting the vaccine, you're kind of putting yourself out there. You're saying like, okay, I, I could be at risk for this, for having a reaction, or I could, I could get sick like Chris and not be able to podcast because, you know, I'm just, my ass is sore or something, you know? Um, <laughs> that, that could be taken lots of ways. And whatever the Where case may be. <laughs> but, you know, like, Moon at, River. at the same time, though, like, I feel for, forever physically changed. Like, there's a part of my shoulder that I can never, I, I can no longer feel. I can't sleep on my chest anymore. It's a fucking annoying like i can only sleep on my back or on my left side that'll, and that might go on that eventually will change that will it, it took, will it but took, i mean it it's, took, i told you it took me a year but it's but it's like it's a long-term kind of thing that you're you know you're still kind of like coping with and it's just like you know so i'm just saying that like even as you get a vaccine or you put yourself out there like for the betterment of of society or just even protecting your own sanity during this whole thing yeah, it is. It's a, it's a, it's a risk. I'm just saying that. Like, here, um, TJ. A, what do you I mean? Like, you mean like, my, my fan going on? The it's like a little high pitch thing. Every now yeah. And I thought, I thought, I thought, mm. I thought it was something in my house. I'm sorry. I thought it was my, oh. I had an alarm. And I thought my alarm was going. No, I, I think my, my heater just kicked on, but oh, okay. It's um, not, you don't notice it a lot, but like, no, I, it, it, it's, I just was picking up a, like a, it's faint, know, but like a little high pitch. Well, yeah. I'll just, I'll just stop. So, but anyway, I just, I, I, you know, I've thought about it though. I thought about my injury and I've thought about like, just like the things that you go through, like just mentally, like as you, as you kind of like deal with like the psychological, like, I mean, obviously like I'm not like super depressed, but yeah, you know, it, it did like take its toll on me mentally where I just didn't feel great about my choices. And, you know, I still don't, you know, there's the financial ramifications of saying like, okay, well there goes, you know, $4,000 or whatever, you know, like, um, I, uh, this thing happened at work and, um, I'll just kind of share this like personal side story here, but this thing happened at work. I fucked up an order and it just, it like, it went out and it's going to cost us a lot more than what I charged. And it's just a loss. It's a financial loss. That's the stall it is. And it, I missed, I missed the part because I, I froze. Oh, I, I didn't explain exactly what happened with the oh, okay, with okay. My work. I'm just saying that like this, this. But that that happens. I mean, it does. It you're does. Not a, you're not a computer. You're not a. But it, it it stings. It fucking stings when like when you make a, a mistake uh, that's that's the size of what Nicholas Nick, is Nick saying. Can be, Nick can be a dick sometimes. <laughs> um, back paper. No, I mean it 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 definitely it definitely burns. It's one of those things. That I'm I'm gonna try to solve it tomorrow, but you know, dealing with UPS over the phone. And I'm sure John can attest to this. They're um, Yeah. Trying well, to wrestle, John is. trying to wrestle down like a, a, a price that, you know, I just, I, I feel like I'm being kind of raked over the coals for an overcharge of, of something that was the wrong weight. And um, so it's something yeah. you're, you're getting killed on the shipping price. I am. I'm getting killed on, yeah. on what UPS do you have. Is, you, do you have to go UPS? It's already gone that way. Oh. It's just, 
it was over the weight by so much, and they oh, so they they, like, uh, they, they really they, jack it up. They, yeah. they really jacked me over on that, and it was one of those mistakes where I was like, I was just like, fuck, you know. So anyway, it's just you know things happen though, and and um, you know it doesn't it doesn't feel good, it doesn't make it any better, but um, you know hopefully there's 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 a light at the end of the tunnel. There's, there's something better on the other side. I feel, yeah, even though my arms forever fucked up, you know, and in some way, like I do, I don't regret having the surgery, you know, I still regret going down that hill because I was dumb, but you know, it's just like, I put myself out there. I lived my life, you know, like, I'm well, not gonna... like I said, eventually the shoulder, cause like I said, when I had shoulder surgery, a good year went by and I, if people ask, would you do it again? I go, Nope. Never do it again. And I wouldn't. I w- if I wouldn't voluntarily do the surgery, I mean, it, but it's better now. But I don't. But, but see, now you've learned. Now you're not going to go down hills like that. You're not going <laughs> to. But seriously, I mean, I, I don't go out and play baseball or bowl or do anything that could mm-hmm. possibly. Because I'm supposed to have shoulder replacement surgery someday. And I go, there's no fucking way I'm doing that. So I don't put myself out. Th- so I will play catch with my grandkids and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I won't be throwing the ball. Full. I, I'll use my. I throw with my wrist. I won't throw with my whole arm. It just. I mean, it throws off everything. I mean, even like uh, my. You know. I mean, you guys know from me talking last summer. I worked on my house. Like any any work that I can do on my house is like totally kind of fucked for the summer because I don't have one hundred percent use of, of my other arm. To like are you doing? Are you doing therapy? <clears throat> you finished the upstairs though, didn't you? I yeah, I thought I thought Nick, I thought Nick was getting like big whoop, whatever. No, 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 no. Wrap it up, up. <laughs> am I bra- wrap it up? Yeah. I'm like, well, the upstairs, you're like, yeah. You know, we care. Nick is a dick. I, don't even I know, care. I know. He even <laughs> said that you know, but the eyes and the head see the world spinning around. So I think that's a, clearly a, a dig and not a lyric. So it's a lyric. <laughs> it's a lyric because you said. <laughs> Never mind. Hopefully, I thought you could put two and two together. No, no, I get it. Well, he hasn't been able to do math since the shoulder injury. Mm. It it has affected certain things though, like like um, you know, as far as like we don't like certain notice. motivation. Oh, like, okay, I thought you were going to um, talk about something else. No, like like more like like it, it, I I think my productivity is like I felt like I was more in the zone before and i felt because like it's because it's 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 your trails. body has been trauma al- your body's yeah. been altered i mean it just it, it takes it takes time you're more machine than that i i know when i when i when i came back from shoulder surgery and i, I, about I feel that about yeah. three months later i was like going i go i would tell the rest i go look i'm not breaking up any fights right now because i'm not i'm not having this thing get all ripped to shreds so i would let people fight <laughs> It's just like you know, I I would try to stop it. If it didn't, I go. But as time wore on, I, you you stop you start you stop thinking about you stop thinking about it. There's yeah, definitely been some like, mornings. Where it's it, to be honest with the sleeping thing, and I still sleep the way I the way I sleep now is with my arm all the way out is how I slept at the time because it's the only way I could get comfortable. Mm. But it was like I I would sleep like two hours at, at a time because I couldn't I mean, sleep. Yeah, I'm I'm the same way. Like I, I sleep on my chest majority of the time, but you know, like I, I told you, like when I popped my shoulder in 2018, and I had to have physical therapy for it, I've always slept with my arms like this, like kind of above, like underneath the pillow above, and I can't do it with my left one now. Like because if mm-hmm. I put it up there, it doesn't go flush. Like it just kind of like stops, and so it's kind of I always have like a bit of air between my armpit, and so it's just like. And so you can just feel the tension of where the bone is pushing against the scar tissue. So I have to tuck this one under now. And so it's just like, it's just weird habits that you have to get used to. I can't do that with my, this arm anymore. For for the listeners that are, are hearing this and not seeing it, Nick was showing off his guns. It was like, it was very impressive. Um, <laughs> and for everybody that is, is actually joining us in the chat live, I'm sorry. You had to see that. Yeah, that was that was something I can never unsee. So yeah. many, so yeah. many puke emojis keep flooding the chat. Right now. <laughs> Could have been worse. I know because uh, my back is so bad. <laughs> the Glaffelder boys were over here the other day. I had to sleep on. I slept on the downstairs couch, and I woke the up. The boys are back in town. Wait, wait. So well, where did they sleep? Well, one sleeps in our bed, and then one sleeps in the other you, bed. You're allowing you're allowing your grandchildren to sleep. 
in the bed while yeah. their grandpa sleeps on the couch. It's what it's what you do as a grandparent. It's what you do. I mean, I'm sorry. That's not what I, not what I would do. <laughs> well, then you're again, you're a dick. You look what you did with the humpback paper. I mean, that was that was uncalled for. It's a rare paper. <laughs> it's expensive. <laughs> Have you seen the watermark on it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they call him Pepper. Anyway, so uh, by I, the way, uh, your your whole humpback whale paper company <laughs> it's Vulcan out of your mind. So. <laughs> That'd be whales. But anyway, so <laughs> that'd be paper. My wife wants us to fix the backyard up, so I, I've been carrying this dirt. You know the. I built a planner thing and all. Long story short, I've been carrying stuff, and so my back is just literally killed by taking these muscle relaxers back things. And uh, so I'm laying on the couch, going, "Oh my god, I feel like crap." Woke up like an hour later, going, I "Had such a cr- spasm in my back." I'm rolling off the going. Ah, ah. Of course, nobody can hear me. I'm like <laughs> going, ah. "It's like a Charlie horse, but in your back." And I'm like going. I think I'm dying. I think I'm dying. Oh, I hate I hate it. I've had those moments before where you feel like a tortoise. Yeah, it hurts. So where bad. where your back your your back your back your back locks up on you. Yeah, and um, and it feels like like you can't move. I hate that. Well, now it's it's going up my spine. It like when I first had this back issue, it it started it was started. So now it's back up to my top of my neck again. So a lot of times I'll be standing there, and all of a sudden my arms go and get all cramped. And I can't move my arms. I'm like, oh, oh. Shit. And people looked at me. I'm like, going, I can't move my arms. I can't move you my arms. should tell them because it's video gaming. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. <It's> like if <laughs> yeah. anybody's looking at you, like you, you look at like the youngest person around you, and you're like, video games. Game man. Man. I was a 1983 Donkey uh, Kong champion. I was the Pong champion. The Pong of America, champ- man. Exactly. Fuck yeah. off, dude. <laughs> so yeah, so I got that going for me. I'm just like going. Uh, so I told my wife, I said, all right, this Sunday, because I'm getting the shot on Saturday. I go, yeah. I'm, I'm not doing anything on Sunday. I'm preparing for the worst. So, okay. I mean, I'm still going to do well, the leftover rewatch. If, you, if you're a leftover fan, we do a leftover rewatch. We didn't do it last week because a couple people were sick. But leftover, it's probably one of the best episodes of this season, the Sonora-centric episode. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Don't, not to be missed. Yeah. Uh, that is, is. That's when the show really used to, because Nora became such a major character after this episode. So anyway, hmm. that's all I'm saying about that. Don't mess with Texas. And I'm five away. I was four away from Crackpot Sports hitting the century mark in, in subscribers, but I lost one today. It's like, who's, who unsubscribes? Oh, but then uh, Jay, was, Jay was telling me, he said, he goes, well, sometimes he goes, uh, the algorithm, whatever it is, there's there's phony accounts out there that cling on to your account and mm-hmm. so they, they kick them off. I go, oh, so it was nothing I did, right? Didn't oh, do. it's totally something you did when I said fuck the Dodgers. Yeah, and that's yeah. when you that's when you list, lost John. Yeah. So. No, John. Oh no! Whoa, 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 John! Did you hear that? Did you hear that, John? The UPS man. That that who oh, he's a Giants fan. Did you really just say? I, you know, oh what? my gosh, you, man, he has, he has fucked me over like <laughs> in the ass and the penis hole. That like reminds both. me with, when we were <laughs> at in the same London, time, it's we're... impossible and disgusting, yeah. but that's how I feel. That's UPS. what you get, you get stinky tattooed on your dick, right? Got up the ass and in the pee hole. You're talking about overweight things. <laughs> we, we were in, uh, we're at Heathrow. Airport, and I, the whole way there, I'm telling my wife, I go, this suitcase weighs more than that one. She goes, it doesn't, and not, it's not going to be over. Just leave me alone. I go, but that suit. So we get there, one suitcase is like four pounds over, mm-hmm. and so I said, see, see. So we go to start to transfer it. The police came over because we were taking our luggage out at the at the gate at the ticket thing. I, you can't do that, I guess, in in England. Oh, so, so they were like, I go, what? We have to go back there. And my wife goes, forget it. We'll just pay the overage. It was $238. I go, that- really? Yeah. You want to pay $238 for this overage? I go, I we can just go back there. We have four hours for our flight leaves. I go, and just check. But she was already going there. Because she also bought an umbrella. Because we were by where the the, the uh, Ferris wheel is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bye. And, and the guy, the, the guy is going, 
Oh no, that'll fit, that'll fit in your suitcase. I go, that will not fit in the suitcase. You're going to have to pack that in. It's it, you either go carry on with it, which you probably won't do, but right. you'll check it in. It's going to get all smashed up and broken. Oh no, no, oh no, no, no. It, it won't do that. No, he, your husband is wrong. I go, no, your husband is right. So we're going back and forth. But I, I go, buy it. I don't care. It was like a twenty dollars. Just had London all over there. Uh, guess what happened? Broke. She had to put it in with baggage, and guess what happened? It got all banged up and broke, and didn't work anymore. Who was right? It was I was right, young man. So but your like, husband's wrong. Your husband's wrong. Your husband is bloody fucking wrong. Yeah, like I, I never understand. I st- understand. I get it that you know you should try to stay within the weight. I get it, but that's happened to me once to where it would look like I was still in America though. But like, yeah, I was like, I think it's fifty pounds is our limit, or fifty five. Yeah, it's, it's fifty pounds. Oh, fifty. Yeah, I think it was at fifty two. Or fifty one point six or something like that, and they were like, "Oh, like you're you're overweight," and I was like, "Oh," and they're like, "And of course, I have my carry on, and I have my luggage," and I was like, "And of course, I had to pull out something to put in my carry on." Like the weight's the weight, like it yeah. doesn't, you know, like what does it matter at, at yeah. that point? Yeah, I understand if I was like at sixty, but like you know, at fifty one, it's like fuck it. Well, that's what this what's up, Sebastian Manigaf. I can never pronounce his last name, but it, yeah, see. See, Matt, see? But he does a joke like this. It's the same weight. What are we talking about? Well, on that note. You start imposing stiffer penalties. So, yeah, you, you like you a stiff. You can't just leave and then come back in and be like, oh, okay, now we're done. You like, <laughs> you, you like stiffer penalties, don't you? We're, we're talking yeah. about luggage here, okay? Yeah. Uh, Sure. I've, I've been over. One time I was like 55 pounds. And I go, fuck. I go. I told you it was coming back from Comic Con. Like those stupid books and stuff. I never, I never read them anyway. Oh, uh, but you know, yes, David has your name in it or whatever. Like, I go, I go. Oh, I don't fucking care. That's why I always ship everything from San Diego. Well, that's what I, Jay does. But I, um, yeah. I, I looked. I'm like, it's like Midnight Express. So I've got sweat running down my face. So I know it's over. And I put it on the little scale to check it in. <laughs> I go, and, and they, she looks over like this. I go. She goes. I won't tell if you don't. I go. Thank you. Yeah. So let me slide. And then the airplane. Which sure, okay, we're I, wait. I wasn't on it. I got, I had to, I bump, got bumped. So the, my luggage went, but you know, huh. it was uh, insured. John, John's saying that I need to talk to customer service because if it's a first time thing, and it is a first time thing, John. So I'm hoping, hoping I can. Hey, tell um, him you know John, the UPS guy, who's a d- big Dodger fan. I will. I will. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will say I did like Dodger Stadium, not the team, but I did like Stadium. It's, it's okay. It's it's it's. I think Petco Park is better, but they, I like they, Petco too. Yeah. The, the do, do, I got to be honest with you. It's been a while since I've been there, but Dodger dogs, the hot dogs, are probably one of the best hot dogs I've ever had at a ball game. So I didn't think anything special about it. You know, but they they were just they were just good. But, you know, but like I said mm-hmm. my son. It's just, it's just the alliteration. Well, my son, I, who I took who I took to many baseball games over the years. Several thousand baseball games. Or fuck the football. He he never gets a hot dog. He gets a hamburger. So I go, dude, you're at a hamburger. Fucking, at a- you're at a fucking base. And they got one time he got those uh, garlic uh, garlic fries. I go, dude, you can't sit here next to me. Those things no. stink. Yeah, they're they're well, disgusting. That, you raged him. Uh, <laughs> well, he doesn't listen. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like that's what I do. Like, I go to a baseball game. I'm getting a hot dog. I'm getting at least two beers and some peanuts. I mean, yeah. what else are you supposed to get? The, beer, the beers are expensive, though. The beers, are hell like, yeah, they are. I mean, I, 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 it's funny how you go to a baseball game and you pay for this. It's like you know, seventy bucks for food, and you go, yeah, okay. You don't blink an eye because you don't think about, yeah, think about because you're yeah. you're at a baseball game. But if I would go, if I would have gone like to a restaurant, I go. These two hot dogs, this beer, and the bag of peanuts has cost me seventy bucks. Fuck that! I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm fucking out of here. No way. Well, I, you're, I like, think about, you're like UPS. You're ripping me off. I was thinking about Rookie of the Year. You know that movie that came out in what ninety two, ninety three. Oh, and, and, and the old guy, you know, when they when they go down the stands, the owner of the team, you know, he gets three hot dogs, you know, for the for the group, and then he gives him, I think, a dollar fifty and change. You know, and the guy's like. Are you serious, old man? You hope you he's like four dollars for a hot dog. <laughs> you know, he doesn't know. You're like, hell, I'd love to pay four dollars for a hot dog. Well, bottled water is like five, six bucks. Yeah. Now you know nice. a whole pack is like three bucks, and it's uh, seven dollars if it's dented. On the oh yeah. 
But uh, what was it? But yeah, what I liked about Dodger Stadium is that you can act, you can kind of like Petco, like you can walk. You can act, around. Like, you can act like an asshole. Well, you can walk. Yeah, that too. Stadium, but you can walk around the entire stadium, and every place I went had a great seat. Like even if you're at the top top level, you could still see everything very well. I was like, oh, this is a, a really well well every seat stadium. At, every seat at Petco faces home plate. Right. Because where they used to play, where they, well, it's no longer, they tore it down. That's what sucks about Fenway. Well, Qual- they, Qualcomm yeah. was, okay, you're like the best seat, but you had to sit like, okay, I, I paid, I think at the time it was like 15 bucks for a seat, but you, the seat is facing, oh, so I'm sitting on the first base mm-hmm. side. Mm-hmm. I'm facing first base. I had to sit like this the whole game. You have to sit like this the whole game right. to see home play and then shift. Mm. So it was like, mm. eh, there's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, this, you know, if you're paying top dollar, typical American. Yeah, I want the seat that automatically moves me and with the ball, the with ball. the ball, wherever well, the ball is at at any point in time. For, for that, it's funny we, we we get that microwave popcorn, and you know how sometimes you a smell will bring you back to a certain oh like yeah. a com- like a commercial break because we have to have a second one. No, we sure. don't. We're not past two hours yet, or is it an hour and a half? Now go ahead if you want to do it. I don't care. Fine. Do you want to? I'll put another one in. Do it. Just double it up. Like the fine tainted smell of a store. Like Stinky would do. So anyway, this this popcorn. I went. What is that? Oh, that's the smell they used to have at the San Diego Sports Arena when the Clippers were there. Because we I always went to Clipper games. Urine's in town. And there used to be this guy. The popcorn popcorn vendor. He, he had it, you know, how they had a strap over him and they had the wooden thing and he had the popcorn sitting up there. Oh, they were wooden back in that day? Yeah, they were wooden. The strap ons? The strap ons. <laughs> <laughs> you get those splinters. Right. But anyway, he would, but they didn't cover the popcorn. It was like this. This guy had like this huge beard. His hair was all over the place. It didn't look Mark like Twain. It was like it was like you, Matt. Didn't leave the shower. Do, 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 do. So, but anyway, I, I and he never sold any popcorn. I'm not going. Does he know why no one's buying the popcorn from him? Because basically, his beard is in the popcorn. He's they're buying dubs, man. Yeah. Well, they, that might have been what he was selling. But no, he seriously he'd walk around the whole sports arena, not selling any popcorn. I'm like going, who would buy popcorn from you? Nobody. Your popcorn. He's like spitting on the popcorn. His beard is literally in the popcorn. In the popcorn. Anyway, that's so that, that's, that's no reminding me of the. Hmm. Is it funny that that's the, my best memories of <laughs> the San Diego Sports Arena and the Clippers? Crazy. Thing, is the fact that this popcorn guy. You do remember random crap like that. It's just funny how. Well, and, and it's one time I was ordering. Not you, food. it's everybody. Yeah, well, one time I was ordering food no, and I didn't bad. know the national anthem was playing. Just... And the woman goes, I go, y'all have it. And she goes, and she gave me a dirty look. I go, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I will have like you. You actually like just like well, they I all they all stopped. And I, was, I wasn't paying. I'm just looking at the thing. Well, I got popcorn. I got peanuts. One in, popcorn it, under God, <laughs> indivisible with, with butter <laughs> and justice for all. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I, it's funny they didn't have the choices they had because, like I said, with Jay, we'd get a hamburger. When I was a kid, there weren't. It was hot. You only had so many choices. Like I'm not a big cotton candy person. I know a lot of people like cotton candy. Oh, I, I, no. I don't get the cotton candy. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. I don't get cotton candy. I don't like it. Yeah, they, no, right, they, just, yeah. they used to have the ice. Remember those frozen ice creams with the wooden spoon? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and the spoon would always break because the damn ice cream now, was so I do, soft. I do like tea, and you don't like tea, but uh, like we, tea, no. we, we can we – can, I mean, why isn't there more tea at baseball games? Because we're not in <laughs> England. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm in an 80s is, group. But people do love teas. Yeah, I'm in an, an 80s group, and the, the, speaking of that, it reminded me of the because you remember the taste of the wooden spoon Malt, that's, that's what he's more than about. you do Malt. the ice cream. Yeah, like if you see mm. an image of that ice cream in that cup with the wooden spoon, you remember the taste of the wooden spoon over the ice cream. Yeah, it was like gross. Like, ah, yeah, yeah it, they were malts. There was like a, it was like the malt. It was it was good. But you couldn't eat this stuff until it defrosted because it would break the spoon. Hmm. The spoons were not made to last. They're like little tongue depressors. Right. The oh, spoons. yeah. <laughs> anyway. That was fun at the ballpark. I mean, I, I miss those days. I mean, it was just... 
I miss not having to take kids because, you know, when you take your kids, it costs you a lot more to go to the game than it does when you're just, I mean, yeah. as a kid, you could go to, you could go to a Clipper game or a, a Padre game for like seven bucks. That's ticket and everything. Yeah. That's what, I mean, it's, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I like living here is because I can get, I can go look, see the, the Rockies play for nothing. They're, and they, and they you suck. can get like and you can get two hot dogs as opposed <laughs> yeah, to yeah. close one. Well, I mean the Cardinals are coming Not to play the, the Cardinals are coming to play the Rockies July first to the fourth. And I'll probably go two days out of the four. And so like I can get, you know, right behind home plate for sixty bucks a, a ticket. So I was like, awesome. That's not bad at all. Yeah, the Padre tickets right now are going for like three or four hundred dollars. Damn! Wow. Well, that, that's what blew because, my mind because they have limited fans in the stands and and they're just sucking. So it's like, of course, of course, you're going to suck. Right. Well, I mean, there's five hundred, but still, it's like they, they expected more. Well, that, I told you that. Like it was four. Like that's one of the things that blew my mind moving here because the only time I ever would go, ever go to the Dodger Stadium was when the Cardinals would come to play the Dodgers. And I would sit right behind first plate, but I would be probably like twenty rows up. First weight, first plate, first first, first base. Sorry, I'm thinking autopilot. Uh, first base. Do you hear that, John? The UPS guy. He don't care. Uh, <laughs> so I would sit behind first base, but I'd be like twenty, twenty two rows up. It's one hundred twenty five dollars a seat, uh, and so when I first got here, I was like, oh, well, what's it cost to you know to sit. Same spot, and right, it was like you know twenty bucks, and I'm like, crap! How much is it to sit by home plate? You know, so arm and leg. I know when we went to the Nationals, went to a Padres National game, uh, Washington National game, about six seven years ago. The the most expensive thing was the parking. Yeah, we bought we bought online first. My wife bought the tickets online, and the guy gave us the, the parking pass. So she goes, you want to stay for another game? I go, yeah, let's stay for So we bought the tickets. They were like 60 bucks. And we're sitting down the third baseline or the third plate line. And uh, great seats, but it was 80 bucks to park. Damn. 80 bucks wow. to park. And I was like going. That's like UPS rates. Yeah. I know. Fucking UPS. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Nick doesn't watch Crackpot Sports. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to watch it. You just have to subscribe to it. I, I, I'm, I'm with him enough as it is. Really, you don't have to watch it. Just subscribe to it. It's not, it doesn't cost anything. Oh, okay. I need to subscribe to Crackpot Sports. Oh, okay. Then I get, I then I get notifications. I, you know, no, 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 no. You only get notifications if you click. The, you don't have to click the bell. Just, just be a subscriber. I, I get notifications all the time from people like, hey, you may be friends with this person. Like, Do you want to follow this person? No, I don't. You will. I own, I know. I only have ninety five. I lost one. I lost one. I, I was trying to make that because I really haven't been really pushing this one. I've been working on the other one, but I said oh, I could do this one. I mean, Chris, Chris, podcast Chris, pressure. Chris, That's what you Chris want. probably yeah. has more subscribers to his gaming account that he has not touched. In <laughs> well, he, a year and a half. For, he was begging for it. What every day? Exactly. Hey. And I said I don't. Even, I I opened up a Twitch account just so I could follow him. I know, and I and by the time I, the time we happen, I mean, are you shocked? Are you really shocked that Chris started something and then didn't finish it or didn't no, show I'm up? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John, the UPS guy. He's still one. I'm like my two uh, friends here. I think he's talking about Chris, and he's still one of Chris's subscribers. Well, no. on that note, <laughs> oh, I I did have a I did. You know, I told Nick about this, and I'm, I'm sure Jack doesn't really care too much. But uh, through my work, Graham Nash uh, bought some some papers from from our really? store. Yeah, it was kind of like a, a rare papers. rare celebrity setting. Setting. Yeah, I wish nothing's better than smoking paper. dolphin paper. I don't buy zigzags. I buy. Don't, don't we have an email? <laughs> Huh? Uh, I didn't think we had an email. Did no, I don't think, think we, so. I th- I saw oh, we email. did. We did get an email. That's right. I saw. I, from, I, I think it's from I, Maggie. I think I accidentally went on the. I've not been on that forever. I went. Oh, huh? I okay. This forever. Well, here, let's read this before um, uh, the show is over. So she it says, one of, she's one of our patrons. Hey, Jack, Nick, Matt, and if Chris is there, second billing. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the kind thoughts about San Diego State not making it far in the NCAA tournament. I didn't win with either my brackets this year, LOL. I meant to email earlier. Jack, with all your serial killer talk, have you watched Mindhunter? I haven't, but I've 
<clears throat> I haven't, but I've listened to Jonathan Jeff be interviewed and they talked about Mine Hunter. Do you have plans to go to a baseball game this year? I haven't been yet. I might later this summer. Mango Maggie. <laughs> I'm thinking about killing someone at a baseball game. Oh, uh, two for one there. Uh, yeah. I don't think you can say that anymore, Jack. Oh, I can't say that anymore? Nope. nope. Even with definitely, I'm pretty sure just anything in general involving killing, can't say it. So, All right, then I'll take it back. Even my last name of Eikhoff has now actually been illegal. I um, believe it. Eikhoff! <laughs> it, it does sound German. It is. It means because okay. you think because you think of Dunkoff. Dunkoff. No, oh, thank I don't you, John, for subscribing, Cam. I appreciate that. I think of that all the time when I hear your name. Oh, uh, oh you yeah. know, Maggie, we've we've I, talked about Mind Hunter though a lot, though, yeah, didn't I've, we? Yeah. Have. We have. We've definitely. There. I know you guys have. <laughs> Randy In fact, just uh, subscribe back down to ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, last last week, um, you know. After well, the aren't, they have, aren't they planning on having a season? They're think, talking about having a season three finally. I don't know. I, saw, I, I, I would love just, it if they did. I saw I just, they... Before, just before we, uh, it, yeah, my, if you haven't seen it, Maggie, highly recommend. I, it, took well, me, I, it took me a year and a half to get my wife to watch it. Because yeah, I remember like a year ago, them saying that they were released, they all were released from their the contracts. Contract, right. Yeah. So I was like, well, it's pretty much doomed now. But yeah, if they have, I want a, a third season because it's a great show. Right. Uh, I mean, I still. That season one, I think I think it's the season one finale with the hospital visit. You know, that gave me a panic attack. You yeah. know, I literally jumped. Yeah, I, I don't want to spoil you, but I I don't want to be like Matt. Hey, you're gonna to to pay attention to the scene right here <laughs> because it's it's kind of scary and it's gonna spoil you, but it's okay. I'm gonna teach you the right way to be spoiled. But uh, yeah, it, I literally jumped. Yeah, I I because I, I wasn't expecting it, and that character is so. It's a creepy guy anyway. Yeah. He does the actor does a great job of pretending. I mean, they're all creepy because they're serial killers. They're 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 different personality. They're different. They're actually so, all, they're all most of them are pretty smart. Well, I would be disappointed if they don't do another season because they've been setting up the uh, uh, Zodiac killer since season one. Is it the Zodiac? Is it the Zodiac killer? Zodiac, yeah. Zodiac's the one they have not addressed. They've just found evidence of the Zodiac, but they've never, they've been setting that up for so I didn't, long. I didn't realize that was, because it's Kansas, isn't it? Well, there's a different one. I mean, there's, there's a different killer in season one versus season two, because you know you have the Atlanta stuff in season two. But like, No, I know, but the, the killer that they always... Yeah, they always kind of flash back to. progressing. Yeah, I think that, I thought that was a Zodiac. I didn't think that was a Zodiac. Well, maybe it's not. Well, everybody find out who it is and make sure that you subscribe to Crackpot Sports and make Jack happy. Because <laughs> he talks well, about serial killers. Well, <laughs> peek, peek behind the curtain, though. Like last week, like after we ended the show, the four of us are still hanging on here talking. And like exactly. literally, we were. Uh, Chris and I were like, I'm out. Like you guys, well, you guys kept talking about serial killer stuff. And I was just like, I have to. Yeah, I was like, I have to. Maddie out, out and Maddie left. That's right. M- Maddie Dudenkoff. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I pieced out last week. You said I you just was like going, and I uh, I was like going, I was, like going, I was tired. Anyway, BTK, so. yeah, BTK, yeah, Matt. BTK, BTK. yes, thank you. BTK, I knew I knew it wasn't BTK. Yeah, thank you, Matt. I I knew it wasn't the I knew be the king. That that was the guy. He was in Kansas, right? Kansas killer in Buffalo, taking Kansas. It was uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes, I think, was the BTK uh, killer. <laughs> well, on that note, um, we I should. I couldn't be a silver killer because I, I have a conscience. I, 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 I know, I know, and uh, it, uh, I don't know. You, like, you talk just, a big game, but yeah, you chicken. I know, out. I, I do, but I just like going. I, I couldn't do it. I can't, just. Join us next week when we'll find out what the next serial killer story is about. That's how you know you couldn't trust you, Jack. Because if I called somebody at midnight going like, hey, I accidentally killed this guy. I need you to help me bury the body. I might call Jack because he'd cry about it. I probably uh, would. And plus, I'm like, going, you know, my back is really bothering me. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't dig no holes. I'm like, I can't. Uh-huh. Call Matt. I Matt's, think already, that Matt's already got bodies in his backyard. He didn't yeah. have space. But Matt, Matt already has his jeans on. He sleeps in jeans. Uh-huh. All right. Fuck you guys. I'm <laughs> closing out this show. You just got to get the sheep out of the way. <laughs> um, 
If you enjoyed what we did here, and why would you? That's his tattoos. The sheep. I, I didn't. The I didn't answer. Cheer. Maggie asked if I was going to a ball game this year. I probably oh, won't yeah. because I'm not going to be going out to San Diego. And I think the Padres play Washington during the week, and I have obligations during the week. I got grandkids to watch. So, and if you follow me on Instagram, you see how they take treat my house. On that note, you don't, you don't scare them like you did Jay. That's why. Yeah, I'm trying Jay, to. End Jay, this Jay was Jay was a slob too. It didn't. It. Did, I. I, I my, my wife goes. You need to tell them to help pick it up. Yeah. I go. I'm not yeah. going to spend all day yelling at my grandkids. You I do. I do say stop. Stop. Because today we have a we have a plastic pool with the balls in it. He, he yelled at Jay so much, his hair was straight up. And yeah. it took him years to finally relax to where it finally came down. But this, but this was Jay's look growing up. <laughs> I'm going to BTK kill this show. Um, hey. If you if you did enjoy this show, and why send us you? an email yeah. at rcadcast at gmail.com, rcadcast at gmail.com. And thanks, ahead, and thanks ahead for the five-star rating. Thank, thank you so much. We haven't gotten uh, there yet. Head over to jandjack.com. You can become a patron member. Uh, help the show out, support the show, uh, or you can check out the merch for the show if you so choose. Follow us do on Instagram. Still, do we still have merch? We don't have any I, yeah, merch. Do we have yeah. merch? We still have merch. They for made the, the load, merch. Maybe. It's just there, right? You know, you can just I, click I, on, like, I haven't seen it in I, 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 You always pull this shit on me. You go <laughs> check it. Can you imagine if you walked out in public and you saw <laughs> someone like, wearing a what, Rainbow what Cast t-shirt? Yeah, I'd know. Shit, what, I'd what, shit what, my pants if I saw somebody wearing <laughs> They're like, really? You paid how much for that? You, what? I, 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 told, I, told, I told that story of Comic Con one time where someone had a Jay and Jack shirt. I go, hey, nice shirt. He goes, yeah, some podcast I listen to. I go, yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do like this show, like these patrons that and care who, enough and, to and make this wouldn't? happen, and who wouldn't? Um, I'd like to thank those Wait, at this time. Should we, call, should we call Chris, have him do this part? Jesus. No, I think Chris is pretty much out. So. Like five gummies. Yeah, uh, I'd like to thank Tack from Oz. Got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I got it. Yeah. Eckhart Richter, chip dish. Yeah. Skin dish. I know. Skin okay. dish. Yeah. Petty Ed Coat Junction. <laughs> <laughs> that might be your best one yet. Uh, it came in in my my high point. <laughs> Mag- <laughs> Moderna Maggie. Damn. Moderna. What? Oh, the shot. The Moderna. shot. Yeah. 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 So um, she, she, she put out Chris. She just injects herself into our lives. Yeah. Ah, I like just, you there. It just got the shit. Just got, just got the, the shit. Just got a shit. <laughs> just, you put a just, shit. Just got the second shot, Joanne. I, I always, I always go the for the alliteration with just with Joanne. Sorry. <laughs> I also like Justice Joanne. That was a simpler one. And. Greg, the greatest game ever played outside is baseball. Thanks, oh. Greg. <laughs> Sorry, right, Greg. Greg, isn't it, isn't it Ray? Greg, Greg, the greatest love I've ever known. Greg, I don't have one for Greg. I'm sorry, Greg. You never have one for Greg. I yeah. He's sometimes the last that I I look at. Tax so Greg, easy. Greg, why, don't you, you, why, why don't you do it first? Greg, I'll you'll flip be, it around. You, you will be receiving a refund check from Matt. Yeah. Um, and a pair of blue jeans. And a pair signed, of blue jeans, yeah. But signed by Matt. Jordan. Sorry, Greg. Um, you must remember this. Greg, uh, we'll be back next week with Greg, better names. The, Greg the Bogart. Don't Bogart the Greg. Don't Bogart the Greg because you had Humphrey Bogart picture up. I did. I did. So What was that, what was that from? Just... Uh, I think Did that I go th- in your wallet. You said uh, no, no, I've had this for a while. I don't know did, what movie did this come is with from. Did it come with a wallet. All the this, this is this is definitely not from um, Casablanca. It's not like Casablanca. He's older. How, how was that? You look at that yeah. guy. You know, great actor, but how was he a leading man? I, I don't. I well, don't he he it. wasn't for a long time. It's a different period. I, I, I know, but he, he, you look at him, you go because you had. You he had actually started out Gary, in theater. Gary Cooper, Cary Grant, Rock Hudson. You, know, you go on and on and on and on and on. But you go, you Humphrey Bogart. Hmm, okay, I don't see it. Well, oh, if you want right. to, if, yeah. if you want to send in your feedback to Jack, do it. Nah, I don't care. Nick, you had one other thing you were going to say, and we'll close out the show. Nah, that's good. I'm good. No, no, I don't want to cut you off. I don't remember on. what it was. Uh, join uh, us next I, week I for cut off, Greg. 
I was saying that you don't see like those kind of leading men though anymore. Like like what you're saying, like Cary Grant and Humphrey. Bo- I mean, not Humphrey, but like the like the chiseled, like like yeah. really handsome men like that. I mean, yes, there are really handsome men in Hollywood now, but like as in like that kind of it's, classic it's, it, look. It, yeah, it's, it's not like the studios don't push that look. Yeah, I think I think it's different too because you have social media now and all that different stuff. So it's not seeing you know seeing a guy like Cary Grant would be like big deal. I can see it every day. Right. Mm. It's like a Marilyn Monroe. I mean, you have Instagram, all it. It's just saying it's different times. You didn't see, you know, TV wasn't big and you didn't have that. You didn't see it all the time. So seeing someone who was attractive. Well, just saying, thanks. Just yeah. I mean, and, and that's, am I right? Am I, am I, am I, am I on point there? Or am I just uh, striking out? No, I think I'm going to write a screenplay about a Cary Grant type who takes his family uh, snowboarding or yeah. sledding. Sledding, yeah. Yeah. And um, I'm in jeans. I'm in jeans. I'm in jeans. Yeah, exactly. It's called in Indiana. In Indiana. Yeah. Sledding in Indiana. That's sledding the in title. Indiana. That's yeah. the title of the thing. Yeah. No, it's not. Fuck you. But you know, there's no snow. I'm today. ending this show. That's okay. I don't care. Thanks for joining us live for everybody. We've I gone way, way past. On. Way past. I'll, I'll try to get. <laughs> I don't even get British. <laughs> Cut off all this fat. Get the See, hot water bottle ready. We'll join us next shortly. week. 